streaming, let us post everything, tweet. Twitch, not Twitch, Discord. Oops. Send now. And then Skype. Alrighty. Let's get up the chats. I forgot to put it on the ready screen. There we go. Okay, so, oh, you're done with school now? Yep. Well, at least for the semester. Is live. Alrighty. Just getting all the last little bits up while we wait for people. For some reason, I have an ad. How about. I don't usually have ads. Oh well. Yeah, time to hi, Kyrie. There we go. All right. We'll wait for some people to show up, and then we can start. Yep. Uh, let's see. Okay, I gotta go to yours. Yes. Let's see. Yeah, don't forget. I would have named the title title something like It's time for the deadly class trial. Eh, I wasn't gonna change the title. Too lazy. Yeah, Joker won't be out for a while though. Like eight hours. Yeah. I'm sorry, at least we have plenty of time though. Yeah, but well no, I'm gonna just stream God of War. Ah, fair. And then you could switch to Smash Brothers when it comes out. Yeah. Oh, oops. Alright, I should probably share your screens, huh? Uh, yeah, that would help a bit. There you go. Oh, by the way, sis, I got lucky. Oh? I got a scene that you probably didn't get in Danganronpa 2. I was playing oh. it a little bit. Yeah. And apparently one of the items I got was this magazine for girls that apparently has some, uh, uh, apparently has a few articles on how to cook some desserts. Huh. And I guess if you, and I guess during chapter one, if you talk to, uh, Mizuru, talk to Mizuru, with the uh, let's see, with the magazine in your uh, presence, you actually trigger a cutscene where you see all the girls making uh, sweets. Ah. Huh. I just got lucky that I actually got that magazine so early. Right. So yeah, it's a chapter one if you get that magazine. Ah. Uh. You know, it's before everything goes to hell. Right. But, you know, I didn't even know about that scene, by the way. Me neither. Oops. Alright. Can't just spell. Finish my breakfast. Well, I'm gonna be eating my breakfast. Alright. We're gonna give it at least a little time for some people to show up. Mm -hmm. And then we will start. I retweeted your thing, by the way. Awesome. Basically, I told everyone that we're that we're streaming together, and that it's time for the deadly class trial. All right. All right. It's time for the dynamic mm. duo. Although this time you're Batman and I'm Robin. 
Yeah. Oh, wait, no, not Batman. Batgirl. That's fair. So Joe, he didn't give me a spoiler, but he gave me one, like, he's told me one thing. He said, depending on uh, what characters we like, it might be heartbreaking. And that's all he said. Which I should have figured. It's Dong and Ranpa. Yeah, it's Dong and Ranpa. That's what I would have said. <laughs> so, this will be... Alright. I'm going to give it two more minutes to start at 115. Sounds good to me. All right. Gives you enough time to finish eating, right? Well, at least be pretty close. I'm gonna message uh, Liz because I need to know what's going on for Easter. You should message Joe and let. Oh wait, does he work today? Yeah. Damn. No, he was uh, on his way to work. Joe's like, I hope your stream is amazing. <laughs> okay. Where's this? There she is. No, I don't like the boondocks. No, I haven't watched it. It's kind of dumb. I mean, the animation quality is great. Don't get me wrong. Such Liz, because I need to know if there are Easter plans before I make any plans of my own. Wait, when's Mother's Day next month? Mother's, oh, I said Easter, but Mother's Day is next month, yes. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. I know you said Easter, I just wanted to check. Oh, also, um,. I probably won't do it uh, this stream, but I got uh, confirmation from Amanda Lee that I can use her songs on my streams. All right. <laughs> uh, I I didn't say I didn't like it. He did. I just haven't really watched it. I didn't say it wasn't a good show. I just haven't watched it. Yeah, I said it, it wasn't a good show. Yeah, I don't think you gave it a shot. I feel like it looks funny, and uh, but I just haven't had a chance to watch it. If I get a chance, I'll hopefully I can uh, check it out, but I'm not sure. Uh, I don't really have a way to check it out, I think is the thing. I got a shadow! We're almost all oh, you guys are just in time. We are actually about to start. You ready? <clears throat> if you steal my intro one more time. Okay. Hello everyone, I'm Yumi-chan, and welcome back to Danganronpa 2. I am here with my brother as we finish the clash. <laughs> what was that boss for? As we finish the deadly clash trial. 
Hey there, everyone. I'm Mega Snake here, and I'm and I'm here with my sister, Yumi. <laughs> and you totally deserve. I'm. That. Um. Mm -hmm. They know. They all love me. Anyway. All right. Uh, before we get started, started though, I do want to say how excited for you for Joker being in Smash. I'm. So <laughs> I am very excited. I, I'm very excited. I, I can't wait. His gameplay looks so good. It really, it really does. Yeah. I'm so excited. I just don't have the money right now. Aww. I wasn't able to buy the pack yet. Well, uh, also, uh, one other thing, uh, sis. Should we say what we have uh, in, in mind for the suspects? Uh, no, let's wait. Let, let's go through the evidence we have. Okay. Oh, right, 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 right. You're right. No, it comes out tonight. Goddess. Yeah, it comes out tonight, but... It comes out tonight at 8.30 Eastern, 5.30 Pacific. Yeah, which, mean, which means that I have to switch my stream back to God of War. Alright. I might want to set your skills first. What lies within Monokuma's video game? Is it the truth or lies? What is the motive that ties that game and reality together? Where did the killer who escaped from the beach house go? There's no looking away from the hopeless memories reflected in the twilight. Damn, that's cool. Yeah, that is. All right. I know you got a skill. Silent massage. The focus gauge recovers at a faster rate. The effective, the effective during the non-stop debate, the hangman's gamut, and the panic talk. Oh, oh yeah! By the way, I found out how to get more skills. What? You have to go to the report card. Uh, wait. Uh, you can. Hold on. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Just trust me. Just trust me. Go to the e handbook. Go to report card. And go to Monami. Are you? Yep, you buy skills. What the hope? That's frag what the hope fragments are for. Yep, so you can buy whatever skills you want. If you want my opinion, I think excellent blade would probably. No, wait, fine sword would be good. Uh, okay, so l let's go to. I, I didn't even, uh... Yeah, you, yeah, you can look through the... You can look through the skills and see if there's any any you feel like you probably need. Effective during the rebuttal showdown. Cannot be combined with excellent blade. Because I remember you were having a bit of a problem with that one. Probably I didn't kidding. know... So, no. Alright, so I'm gonna go to the top and I'm gonna read them all. Are you glad I looked? Are you glad I played through uh, the first case earlier? Yeah, I mean, I didn't. I'll, I'll, we went through the entire case without using any skills then. Yeah, basically. So it only increases the influence gauge. Effective during the class trial. Slightly so increases the focus gauge. Oh, it increases how much there is. Slowly increases the time limit for each phase. Uh, the time limit's never been a problem. No. Influences influence gauge recovery when correct answers are chosen. Effective when making choices or selecting a truth bullet. Hmm. Slowly studies your aim. No, effective during non-stop debate. Cannot be combined with tranquility. Huh. Reduces your aiming speed. <laughs> and the inf You know, if you got a mouse, that's a little too fast. Ah. Increases your, increases your aiming speed. That's if your mouse speed is too slow. Increase, decreases delay between firing truth bullets. Like, you know. Oh. Like, if you, like, if you were trying to aim for an answer, but you missed. 
Um, I don't know if you really need that. Not right now. Ah, yes! Oh yeah, no, that might come in handy. Oh, that might be good. Yeah, that might be good, actually. You have, you have enough to get any skill, one more of any skill. Before you select, I would make sure you check all the other weapons. Alright, we are back to the beginning. Yeah. I see you got a shadow. Let's try that one. Okay. And now, and now you have to go... Are you glad- aren't you glad I did that? Yeah, I didn't know that was a thing! I was reading through it and I'm like... Wait, you have to talk to Monami to get skills? And then, and so I looked at the report card and, yep, there it was. And just enough, see? Yep, uh, you, by the way, uh. you get skill points by leveling up. That's what the levels are for. Uh... Oh my god. Alright, now let's look at, now let's look through our evidence. Alright, so we have the Monokuma file. The victim is Mihiro Koizubi. Estimated time of death is around 3 p.m. Scene of the crime where the body was discovered is inside the beach house at Chandler Beach. The case of death is a single killing blow to the head with a blunt instrument. There are no other conspicuous external injuries and no trace of foreign substance such as drugs. The blood stain on the floor had streaks leading to the roadside door as if Mihiro had crawled through it. Okay. Even though we know she did not. Okay, so first first things first, we already know what the blunt instrument was. It was a metal bat. Yes. She got hit in the head. She got hit in the head from behind with a metal bat. And according to uh, Mikan, she said it was instantaneous. Yes, yeah, she said that she died instantly. So that's what we know. Okay, the, per the footprints are Hyoko's. Right. We knew that. Melbet found out the cram scene. Due to the bloodstain coating it, it's believed to be the murder weapon. The murder weapon used in the Twilight Syndrome murder case was a metal bat, too. Yeah. You gotta remember that. There were a bunch of empty plastic... So this, I'm not sure what the what this is for. There has to be a reason. either, Or it's just a useless piece of evidence. Uh, well, we should still keep it in mind. Okay. Uh... Why would someone, like, the only reason I could think of on if someone was drinking a lot of water, is that all, all, of, the, all of those are water bottles. <gasps> Wait a minute! Wait, what? What if the water was used to wash something? Oh, oh shit, I didn't consider that. What if she was so from somewhere else? Or the bl it was used to wash the blood off of something. Oh my god. This, this, you're a genius. I didn't think about that. That would be the only reason for all these water bottles. Because there's no water in the shower. Yeah, and then Monokuma could also say when, when was the shower used. Also, sis... I am a fucking genius! Uh, yeah, because I was thinking the only reason someone would use up that much water water was because either they were dehydrated or they were waiting a long time and they were sweating a lot. But no, yours make much more sense! 
I am a genius. Because well, I'm like, because they can all, because people can watch themselves off on the, you know. But I'm just like, but they can't because the water isn't running in a shower. So therefore, they would use the next best thing. And that, and if they were wearing a wetsuit, they could wash off any blood that they had. Without, without getting themselves wet. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, I'm a genius. I gotta give you credit, sis. I did not think of that. That was brilliant. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. All right, moving on. So now that now the water bottles make much more sense. Yes, that 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 I I hope that I'm right, but that uh. <laughs> Now, uh, now I'm pretty sure. Now, here's my thing about this. Now, uh -huh. now if they know Mihiru, they know that she u usually carries her camera everywhere. But this time they didn't. They probably brought this as a precaution. At least that's my thought. Thought they probably use it as a precaution so that if anyone saw them or if Mihiru got a picture, that you wouldn't be able to identify them. Right. What do you think? Hmm. Let's see. Ah. Uh, either that, or maybe it's meant to throw us off. I'm just saying there's still no, there's no blood on it. But it's still but really weird. It off. Now we've realized they could have, but... It would be wet then. It's been an hour, sis. Hmm. It's been. It was. It was there for an hour before we found it. It would have yeah, dropped. It would have dried off. It would have dried off by then. You know. It would have dried off by then. Maybe. Okay. Uh, let's not focus too far too much on this right now. Yeah. We like. We know there's there's a reason for it being there. Right. So this we already know. Yeah. This um Hyoko Hyoka. Yeah, Hyoka. Hy Hyoka uh she those are her gummies. Yeah, she and loves she stuff. she loves those. So we, we think she's a witness. Mm -hmm. So this is definitely one of the true things because we that that shows us that there's no there's technically no water, which is why someone would have to use the water bottles. Yeah, that makes so much more sense. Either you so. hit a piggyback ride from you piggyback ride from someone, or you had a or you had a rope land ahead of time. Yeah. A uh, tipped over fish tank was found in the music room where the first victim's body was discovered. Gravel and water were scattered everywhere. So why is? Mm. Okay. So. So and then the killer's escape route. There's a broken window in the music room where the victim's body was discovered. Normally, you can't leave the music room without passing through the entrance. Oh yeah, that's right. So this, the tank. this is something. This is still because this like this shows us, um, this could because once again there was a lot of people that could have seen them. So they're she, they had to have had an alternate escape route. This is what this is showing us. Yeah, and uh, and also the fish tank. The fish tank was probably what was used to break the window. Hmm. How is this relevant? Uh, remember that they were trying to rem that they were thinking that a pervert got to her. No, I know, but I'm trying to figure out why that's relevant. Okay, this is uh, important. Yeah, no, this is severely important. Try playing Twilight Murder Syndrome after you get a game over. Press down five times for the real game. Once you do, you should remember what you did to my sister. We'll talk then. So. Here's the fun part. This note doesn't sound threatening. Yeah. The note, uh, as much as it sounds suspicious, but it doesn't sound threatening. Yeah, and we know that it's Fuyuhiko's sister. Yes. The fun part is... that... 
So he wanted to talk about it. So, and he, because he doesn't, he figured out who did it, but that person, uh, so who, so Girlie, the one who did, who killed his sister, died. Well, I know that guy. So I'm just saying it doesn't sound threatening, even though some people might think it is of. He, but he wanted to talk because he's like trying to figure it out himself. I think. Yeah, I think. Because it doesn't say you'll you did oh, like it, it, like you would think he would say something you would pay for what you did to my sister. Yeah, no, it's like he. Uh, for you, he goes many things. He's a jerk. He's. An but there's asshole. also. But it. But subtlety is not one of them. He is blunt as hell. Hell. Yeah. So now here's okay. Let me. There's one thing. Uh, okay, so we have that. So we have girl. Uh, well, well, we already know. A. Yeah. So we have them all. We have the vase that was broken. Which turned out to be the real murder weapon. So this is so I'm this is still weird. Fuyuhiko looks a Fuyuhiko's sister looks a lot like Sonia's sister. Like Sonia. Well, not like Sonia's sister, like Sonia. Yeah. That and that's kind of what bugging me. What it what it like we already know that they already had their class memories uh, taken away. What if Sonia's memories were more than that? <sighs> Like, maybe she's the ultimate princess because she's also a mafia. Oh. You don't think she was dead? Maybe not. Hmm. Ah. And you think that's Sonya? Hmm. I don't know. That's a bit of a stretch. But you can't deny it's possible. So this makes it seem like Sonya knew about the meeting. Or someone knew about the meeting. Yeah. And... It says, I was going to tell you in person, but I couldn't find you, so I put this in your mailbox. About what we discussed earlier, is it okay if we change the place and time? I want you to come to the beach house on the second island at 2.30 at p.m. If It seems there's someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. Let's keep it a secret until then. Let's try not to see each other for a while. It would be bad if they started suspecting us for no reason. Yoko. Oh wait, that's Yoko. Yeah, that's Yoko, which is the girl in the um the kimono girl. Yeah. So here, so here's, so do you think maybe she? So so, but then they found then they still found the note. It seems. So they knew when they were meeting. Yeah, and then and Mahiro Mahiro probably was. Uh, my hero probably got there at 2.30. She was probably waiting, and that's why she had some... She was eating, snacking on some gummies. Right. So, uh, so my yeah. My hero showed up while trying, probably hoping someone else would show up, but she got there. And then... Yeah. <gasps> oh! I think I... Uh, maybe. Maybe. Would have... They sh would have... My hero showed up, went in through the back door, and as she was walking in... Was hit from behind yeah. with the door still open and took her completely by surprise. Damn, that's a that's a good one. And I and here's my thing: I suspect Sonia because because one of the big things that is bugging the hell out of me is that she said she was late because she she was trying to get a wetsuit on and she doesn't know how it works. And I'm like, isn't that like she may have. Like, yeah, it might, she may have had. A she bit might of have trouble. been putting. She might have been putting the wet stuff, wet, wet suit on, uh, over her clothes. Yeah, that. Like I, like I had said before. Yeah, that, and that might make sense, sense. But still, though, though here's my, so here's my problem, though, though is that, from three to four, she doesn't have an alibi. 
Right. And she was wearing, again, she was wearing a wetsuit. Meaning if she used all those water bottles to clean herself mm -hmm. off, there would not be a trace of blood on her wetsuit or on her clothes. And I'm thinking she may have worn the wetsuit to hide her identity too. Because if you wore Maybe. a wetsuit and that mask, you wouldn't be able to tell yeah. who it is. And she would be able to, the, you would be able to wash off blood from a wetsuit very easily with water. Yeah. So that's why I'm. That's what the wetsuit is for. Yeah. You know, to, uh, because it, it, it dries rather quickly. Well, yeah, I've seen Mythbusters use it. it use a wetsuit or sometimes to protect from hyperthermia, too. They're pretty good. So that's why I'm thinking Sonia is suspicious because of that. Sonia is suspicious. So. All right. Yep, and we already went through Mikan. She said that. She, All right. She said. I think we have a solid thing. Yeah. So right now, I sus right now I suspect, I suspect Sonia. We also have to ask. We also have to ask Nekamaru about Akane. Yep. Be uh, but I think we're ready. The blood. Yeah, because Fuyuhiko, he's too easy. No, no, it's not Fuyuhiko. It's definitely not Fuyuhiko. Yeah, that would be... Alright. Uh, can I use the bathroom real quick? Yep, go ahead, use the bathroom. And we shall... Can, we shall do this. Good to see you too, goddess. <laughs> Thank you. Finished scars. College is done, so I hopefully should be streaming more often. Uh, hopefully, uh, I think... Uh, Saturday? I might shiny hunt, but let's see how that goes. You ready? Yep. Now, and if it is Sonya? Oh god, this is gonna break Soda's heart. Alright. Alright, let's go. Trial? Alright. Alright. Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. Who done it? If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the, pick wrong, the wrong person, person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will earn the right to leave this island. Oh, no matter how many times I hear it, it's such a cruel rule. Now yeah. then, let's first discuss the motive. That masterpiece of gaming, Twilight Syndrome Murder Case. What? Who cares about that game? The outcome of this trial should be determined by whether or not we find Mahiru's killer. Nevertheless, we shouldn't ignore it. Yeah. After all, that game is the motive this time. Yeah, you're right. Then let's try discussing that first. I'm sure everyone who's beaten the game already knows that it's based on an actual murder case. Some of us have not beaten that game. Give us a detailed explanation. It no, means Twilight Syndrome Murder Case is a non-fiction game. Thanks, Nagito. Yeah. Additionally, some of us are characters in that game, too. Some of us are characters in a video game? <laughs> oh, we, we'd have been meta, Danganronpa. Yes, I love it. So, 
I think it's better if we clarify who the characters in the game are first. Yeah. Characters in the game were... A girl, B girl, C girl, D girl... Boy, F. And the high school girl who got killed at the beginning. By using the staff roll up to clearing the game as a reference, I should be able to figure out who is who. If the first character the player was able to control is girl A. Is probably... Mika? I think it was... Uh, no, wait. Uh, it, maybe? I see! I see! Girl A is probably Nikon Tsumiki. That timid tone. That definitely sounds like Girl A. Based yeah. on the list of names in the staff role, I can't think of anyone else who would be Girl A. Why am I in a video game? That's an infringement of my right to privacy! A nasty, trashy pig shit like you doesn't have any privacy rights! Ah, a nasty, trashy pig shit. I feel like I heard that in the game too. Huh? She's right. The one who said that was... <sighs> Damn it, I wish we could remember. Wasn't it girl C? No. Oh. Damn it! Damn it. That was girl B, I thought so. Yeah, it might it might have been. I see! Girl B was short and foul mouthed. Foul mouth. She's probably Hyoko. Short and foul mouth? That's like the complete opposite of me! Oh, yeah, bullshit. yeah. Anyway, let's move on. Next is girl C. Um, was hyper energetic and unique, which was Ibuki. Yes, yeah, she is very unique. Girl C is Ibuki. Girl C? Then I'll see you next Tuesday. <sighs> no, I know. Mm, I approve of that. Let's move on to girl I would Z. make that joke. <laughs> I'm sorry, sis. I would make that joke. The only person who is is my. I see. I see. Girl D is my hero. The victim in this case. Yeah, that's correct. Let's skip girl E and talk about guy F. That would be Fuyuhiko. I see! Aren't you guy F, Fuyuhiko? Huh. I was in a game? That's fucking stupid. Uh, that reminds me. Wasn't there another person whose last name was also Kuzuryu? Another person? It was one of the names on the staff roll. Nagito, you were an asshole. The names okay. were Sumiki, Koizumi, Sayonji, Miyoda, Sato, Kuzuryu, and then another Kuzuryu. Hold on. Why do you keep saying there were two Kuzuryus? It's not like I'm wrong. That's how it's written on the staff roll. You can even ask Since Monokuma. Since you beat the game, you probably know what this actually means, right? The reason for Yuka's last name, Kuzuryu, appears twice. It's true, I have a hunch, but... To call me out like that, Nagito, you're definitely someone I shouldn't mess with. The reason for Yuka's last name, Kuzuryu, appears twice is probably is because... An older sister. I can prove it with this! Or it's a little sister. In the game, Guy F. Kuzuryu mentions that he has a little sister. <coughs> oh, you're right. Oh, there it is! Hmm? What do you mean, little sister? This is what Guy F said in the game. What the hell did she do yeah, to my little sister? Clear. There's no pretty doubt clear. that Guy F had a little sister. Plus, the sister actually appeared in the game. That's why the name Kuzuryu appeared twice. By the way, what role did Guy F's little sister, the other Kuzuryu, play? You probably noticed, right? I hate you! Oh... I don't really want to say it myself, but I need to move the conversation forward. The only character in the game that could see being Kuyuga's lister is... I see! 
Sorry. The dead high school girl who was the first victim in the game is the only person I can think of. What, Phil? Uh, the, this is... I I don't really like Kazuryu, but damn, this is gonna hurt. Yep. This is gonna hurt him big time. Based on Guy F's tone in the game, it's clear that girl E is not his little sister. So if the only person left is the dead high school girl, then she must be Fuyuhiko's sister. Why do you sound so fucking happy? That's a winning personality you got there. A little bit. Oh. You could tell he this is on the- This means that his memory of his little sister might have been erased too. Yeah, and- And he- yeah. Winning personality? Are you praising me? Shut the fuck up, Nagito. I was being sarcastic, dumbass. Yeah, Fuyuhiko's- I could tell he's on the verge of losing it. Hey, you said the game is a work of non-fiction. That means Fuyuhiko's little sister is- Yeah, I have a little sister. Something wrong with that? It's just a fucking game. Don't go mixing up some video game with reality. It's not just a game. It's definitely based on true events. That's why it's the motive. Don't go making shit up, bastard! If she was the type to die easily, I'd have fucking killed her myself a long time ago. Excuse me? No. Here. Okay. Ex her Excuse. Ex ho ho. Excuse me? No. Hold on. You can tell he's clearly bluffing. Yes, he's mafia, but one of the biggest things about mafia is family. Family I mean, matters the most to mafia. Yeah. When I first entered Hope Speak Academy. She, she was mouthing off to me, as usual, and sent me off. It happened just the other day. Um, about that, you're probably thinking like that because you've lost your memories. Shut the fuck up! You be quiet! I see. So you're never gonna accept that that game is based on true events, huh? Okay. I understand your attitude toward this class trial now. Nagito, you seem to be doubting Fuyuhiko a lot. Do you suspect he's the killer? A mystery that easy would make me feel sad. It wouldn't be good enough to serve as everyone's stepping stone. That's why I'd be much happier if Fuyuhiko wasn't the killer. I mean, okay. he has a point. You're starting to act weird again. It would be way too easy if he was. I know. That's what we were thinking anyway, in the beginning. Now we've established who all the characters in the game are. Girl A is Mikan. Girl B is Hiyoko. Girl C is Ibuki. Girl D is Mahiru. Guy F is Fuyuhiko. And the first victim in the game, that dead high school girl, is Fuyuhiko's little sister. That's just a story in a fucking game. If so, then girl E is Miss Sato. Wait. Oh, Could it be? Me. The same Miss Sato who likes white rice? Uh, so can, you put, can you press F1? Well, she's not in the- she's not gonna be in the report card. Uh, I just re trying to remember- was there someone that had a last name, Sato? Not in here. Let's see. Aka, Soda, Alamara, Nine. No. no. Weird. I don't know what Sato you're talking about, but I don't think she's relevant to this case. Mm. Maybe it's related to Gundam's last name, since they're both really plain names. Ow! What the heck? That a Tanaka connection? may be an ordinary family name, but it's far better than Sato or Suzuki. Ooh. Ooh. And... He also has a very strange... Hey! Really no one cares about that! Hurry up and talk about the mystery of the game! Huh? What do you mean, mystery of the game? My, my, you don't know. I heard that girl E got killed. Who's girl E? What? No way! Is oh my god! Mona me. 
Getting killed is so violent, don't you know? My! Such awful times we live in! Why did this happen? <sighs> you guys are definitely friends. Ha! So the mystery of the game is the murder of girl E, correct? Then let's hurry up and solve it! Let's first figure out why girl E was killed. Girl was killed, I should be able to assume. Because girl E was the killer. I see! Yeah. The reason girl E was killed is because she killed the first victim in the game. Which means girl E was killed as revenge for the dead high school girl. What do you think, Fuyuhiko? Apparently, Girl E was killed to avenge your little sister. You're fucking persistent. I don't care what that game said at all. But. 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 Is, is it. Is that true? Girl E. She, she killed the first victim? In order to make that clear. We need to know more about the case involving the first victim's murder. It's the murder that occurred in the music room. I knew it would come up, so I prepared in advance. What, did you play it again? Oh! Look, oh! I made a map of the music room's surroundings, which was the stage of the first case. Okay, sis, I want to say something about this. This is why she's the ultimate gamer. Some gamers actually did ma make maps for older games, like Legend of Zelda. Yeah. Like the original Legend of Zelda. So, okay. Mm. So here's what I'm, I'm trying to figure out. How... So here's the problem. How did she get out of the room, lock the door, like, from all the, the uh, hearing the crash of the... Oh, she broke the vase to make it sound like the, the murder happened right away. Mm-hmm. And when maybe the murder happened a bit ago and she, uh, that's why she was taking so long. Oh, that's a good one. The broken vase was to signify the broken window. A, a, a false time of death. Yes, a false time of death. All right. Hi, Remlasher. Hello, Remlasher. Uh, it might be, oh, oh yeah, I'm good. Yeah, no, no, no. We're not going to stop in the middle of the case. We're, we're going to finish this case. Yeah, we... This... It might take a while, but we are finishing this case. Yeah, this is why we started at 1, so that way we have plenty of time before I stream. Even then, I can... So, okay, so I could think that she did, uh, she broke out the window, mm -hmm. kind of, uh, uh, locked the door. To make go... Uh, or, uh, the window got broken in the scuffle. She went to go grab the key, locked the door, took the key back, and then uh, broke the vase to, you know, signify a false time of death. Yeah, or maybe the water tank is the murder weapon. Mm, no, I think, no, 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 there would be blood on the glass. Oh yeah, you're right, never mind. Alright, let's move on. Alright, let's continue. I'm surprised you went to all this trouble. Mapping is second nature to retro game fans. That's just what I said! Classic dungeon crawler RPGs have a first person point of view, so mapping as you play is a basic. Yeah. We get it! Let's talk about that later so we can focus on the case! No, 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 the bats. No, 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 not, not in the first. Not in this first murder, goddess. Then, I'll start explaining. Girl okay. A, girl B, girl C, and girl D were at the entrance hall when they heard the sound of glass breaking. Mm -hmm. Immediately, they climbed the stairs to the second floor and headed to where they heard that sound. Girl E was in front of the music room on the second floor, and she confirmed that the sound came from in there. But the door to the music room was locked. So Girl D went to get the key from the office. And when the five of them were finally able to go inside, they Hi, Luna. found the victim's body, dead from a blow to the head. Hey, Luna. Because the music room's window was broken, the girls thought the killer escaped through there. The sound of breaking glass that they heard at the entrance hall seemed to confirm that. 
Plus, Girl E's school swimsuit was stolen, so they concluded that the escape killer was some pervert. How does that sound? Hmm. Hmm. That sounds about <gasps> The, uh, uh, maybe the, um, the swimsuit was used to punch the window in? That, that would make sense, since we couldn't find it. And, uh, and, uh, how else were they gonna break? I don't think the, uh, water tank was used to break the window. Yeah, but it still got broken. We can't deny it. I think it fell over in, a, in the scuffle. Might have. But I think the the swimsuit would have been used to oh, to break the window, with that. No, here's the thing: the glass shards are on the inside. Hmm. Do you see that? Oh, you're right. So, that has come up quite a few times. That that has come up with an Ace Attorney too. But they're on the second floor. Hmm. I'm yep. An understandable explanation. Hold on. You want to look at that again? Oh, we can't see the glass from that. Let's see. And we can't see the glass, but her picture which shows the glass on the inside. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't a pervert, right? Wasn't the real killer Girl E? Obviously. Girly was waiting outside the music room for the other girls after she killed the first victim. Did she lock the music room from the outside? Then she would have totally needed the key from the office. Which means Girly was hiding that key. We can assume she used it to lock the music room after she left it. But Girl D was the one who went to the office to get the key to the music room, right? Oh, I just noticed mm. his picture. By the yeah. way, since it was never mentioned in the game, we can exclude the possibility of there being a spare key. You can lock the music room from the inside, right? So from there, Girl E broke the window and escaped, and sprinted to the front of the music room as fast as she could before the others arrived. Mm -mm -mm. She would have passed by the entrance hall where the other girls were waiting if she tried to do that. Then, forget this! <laughs> it's not cute to see an old guy sulk. Hey, is Girl E really the killer? We haven't reached an answer yet. No, so the X is actually made of a fork and knife goddess. That's what he was pointing out. Yeah. Based on the details of the game, it's no mistake that Girl E, who is waiting in the hallway, is the killer. Yeah. When, then, what did Girl E do after killing the girl inside the music room? I guess I need to clear that up first. All right. Oh shit, we got five pieces. We need to listen carefully. Okay. Let's After listen she listen killed to the this. first victim in the music room, what did Girl E do? She just broke the window in the music room and escaped outside. So, how did Girl E get from outside the school to the front of the music room? To go back to the music room from outside. You need to go through the entrance hall. Plus, at the entrance hall... The other four girls should have been there. At the entrance hall, the girls... Heard the sound of the window shattering. How was she able to get past those four? And wait in front of the music room? She probably used a hidden passageway! No... Twilight's hidden passageway is the world's best! No, I know what it is. After she okay, killed the so first got victim it. in the music room. Yes. What did Girl E do? She just broke the window in the music room and escaped outside. So how did Girl E get from outside the school to the front of the music room? To go back to the music room from outside, you need to go through the entrance hall. Plus, at the entrance hall, the other four girls should have been there. At the entrance hall, the girls... Get ready. Heard the sound of the window shattering. No, that's, that's wrong. That's it! 
No, that's wrong! First of all, the sound the girls heard wasn't the window breaking. <coughs> if it wasn't the window, then what broke to make that sound? A vase. A vase? A vase? How low can you go? <laughs> After the murder, a broken vase was discovered in the classroom next to the music room. So the sound of breaking glass that the four girls heard wasn't the music room's window. It was the sound of the vase breaking. Probably. Actually, the murder was nearly finished by the time the four girls met in the entrance hall. Girl E killed the victim in the music room, broke the window, and went to the office to get the key. With that key, she locked the music room from the hallway. See, that's what I said! Turned the yeah. key to the office. That's exactly what I said. And went back to wait yep. in front of the music room. All she had to do was break the vase in the next door classroom as the four girls met by the entrance hall. To make them think the murder had just occurred and that the killer had just escaped. So, when the four of them ran over after they heard the sound, Girl E acted like she had just rushed over too. I see. Now the mystery has been solved. No, something's missing. Wait a minute. The mystery hasn't been solved yet. You haven't determined what the murder exactly. weapon was yet. Murder weapon. We don't know what the murder weapon was. Who cares about the murder weapon? We found out who the killer was. Not cool. I went to all the trouble of making this death march, so you gotta stick with it to the end. <sighs> when he did heck? go through all this You're trouble. You're so annoying! Fine, let's figure out the weapon. If this keeps up, I'm gonna feel like I need to shit. <sighs> Which means I'll feel disgusting! You're God the dang disgusting it. one! <laughs> the weapon is pretty unconventional! The answer was revealed in the game, though. Is it the fish tank? I, but that's I, that's just weird. What I said. But that's weird. That's a little bit. Now then, but, will you guys be able to figure it out? Okay, sis. A murder w doesn't matter if a murder weapon is weird. If it's a murder weapon, it's a murder weapon. And a fish tank filled with water is going to kill someone if it's hit in the head. Oh, here comes the white noise. Really? Okay. Gundam. Gundam has a skill for silencer. Okay, Gundam has a skill for the silencer. Okay. Good to know. A weapon inside the music room, huh? Let's see. What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. <laughs> Why are you going even, even bigger. bigger? The investigation conducts universal chaos. It's on that big a scale too? How about beating her with gravel instead? If it's a weapon that was used to beat them to death, it should have had blood stains. Exactly. Was there That's a weapon with blood stains on it? She oh. beat her to death with her fists. God fucking damn it! <gasps> Wait a minute. A weapon inside the music room, huh? You got an idea? What about broken glass? Isn't the cause um... of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be a weapon. Oh, I got it! Then I the see piano. what you're getting at. Why are you going even bigger? The investigation conducts universal chaos. 
It's on that big a scale, too? How about beating her with gravel instead? If it's a weapon that was used to beat them to death, it should have had blood stains. No. Damn it! Damn it. A weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. Why are you going even bigger? The investigation conducts universal chaos. It's on that big a scale, too? How about beating her with gravel instead? If it's a weapon that was used to beat them to death, it should have had blood stains. No? I didn't think so. Is that the blood seed part? A weapon not. inside the music room, huh? What about broken I glass? Can, I think you can fast forward by Isn't holding control. Isn't the cause control. of death a blow to the head? Control, oh. Then she attacked her with the fish. That's too big to be- Then the piano. Why are you going to- The investigation. It's on that biggest- How about beating her with gravel instead? If it's a weapon that was- It should have had blood stains. Let's see, there was another was one that had yellow. Was there a weapon with blood stains on it? She beat her to death with her fists! Mm. A weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken Let glass? Let me see your evidence again. Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? How then about, she attacked her with maybe the fish we should, tank. Maybe we should grab Ibuki's That's too big to be a statement weapon. about gravel. Then the piano. You think? Mm. Why are you going even bigger? Yeah, because there's no other yellow. Yeah. Investigation conducts you. It's, it's on that only okay. the blood stain. Grab that statement. If it's a weapon that was used to beat them. Oh wait. Death, uh, how do I grab the statement? It should have had blood stains. Uh, was there a weapon with blood stains on it? You can press it? the F1 to check controls. Sheep. Or uh, wait, uh, no, wait, it was an F1. Uh, I think it was escape. It was escape. Let's see. Uh, that, uh, do you do you have to hold the left mouse button? Oh wait, here we go. Maybe system. Focus gauge, concentration, fast forward, weak spots, truth bullets, loading, quick select, truth bullet flashback. Oh, here we go. Uh, if you target a weak spot, hold down, the, it becomes as a temporary okay. truth bar bullet. Oh, I don't have much time. Okay, so, okay, so, you gotta get to a bookie well, statement. Inside the music room, huh? Right. What about broken glass? You can hold control. Isn't the cause it, of death a the blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. That's right. too big to be a weapon. Let's see. Then the piano. Why are you going even bigger? The investigation conducts universal chaos. It's on that big a scale too? So you have to hold the left How about beating her with gravel instead? Why can't it's a weapon that was used? It's to not letting me do death. it, Phil. Why it didn't? Should have had blood stains. Was there a weapon with blood stains? Why on isn't it? it letting me? She beat her to death with her fists. <sighs> it's not letting me click it. Your weapon inside you were using the, the left room, mouse huh? button, right? Yes, what Phil. I know what the left glass? mouse button is. Does it work? Isn't the cause of no. death? Well, a it's not letting head? me do it. You're not. Then she attacked you're pressing her with the fish tank. It and you're trying to hold it? Yes, I am! And you're not hitting the Doing right the one. Piano. No, I'm not, Phil! Come on, I'm not stupid! Why are you going even bigger? 
weird. I don't know why you're. I don't know why the it's investigation not. Investigation conducts universal chaos. It's on that big a scale too. Maybe I can't actually do How anything about in there. Her with gravel instead. If it's a weapon that was used to beat them to death, no, it's not. It should have had blood it, stains. Was there a weapon with blood stains on it? She beat her to death with her fists. <sighs> we don't have any time. I don't. Well, then you're. Oh wait, you can get more time by hitting by hitting the. Uh... Yeah, that oh, only gives me a second. The music room, huh? What about broken glass? Isn't Yeah, no, I can't. <sighs> no. I don't get it. Why couldn't we do it? I don't know why. This is my We will never give up! Like, why, why couldn't we do it? That's the thing. It was not let I... We... Okay, let's escape route. Should have had blood stains. A weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be in the piano. Why are you going even the investigation? It's on that biggest. How about beating her with if it's a weapon that was it should have had blood stains. I no. didn't think so. I don't understand. Damn it. <sighs> a weapon inside the music room, huh? Wait, it's what about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. Why Wait, you what if we try to grab bigger? head blood stains? The investigation I did try. Universal chaos. It's on that big a scale too? How about beating her with gravel instead? If it's a weapon that was used to beat them to death, it should have had blood stains. No, it's not letting me grab it. Can I not grab in this one? I don't know. Uh, audience, are we able to Kyrie, grab in this one? Because I'm Kyrie, what's the bullet? Because I can't figure it out. No, we should ask what. What's a gr like? I. Are like the thing is, we for some reason it's not letting us grab anything. You can't grab in this one. Is that why? Yeah, I thought so. Damn so it. it has to be one of these options. But what's with the like here? A weapon inside the music the room, room, huh? But we've tried. What about broken the glass? But we is did try the school swimsuit. It didn't work. School swimsuit didn't tank. work. That's too what big if we to tried it on Ibuki's statement? Then the piano. Which one? Stolen, stolen school Why swimsuit are you going and Ibuki's statement about the gravel. The investigation conducts universal chaos. It's on that big a scale too? How about beating her with gravel instead? I agree with that. Oh! 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 Fucking me. Okay. Okay, we didn't- we forgot- blue I'm stupid. Mean... The killer must have used gravel I forgot the blue the... it means you can agree with them. We- it's been a while. Oh! It's been a while. I'm sorry guys. We're so stupid. My goodness. I got it right. And I was just throwing things out there. I agree with <laughs> just that. Just as I thought! I'm chosen by the gods! Damn. You're not chosen Please. at all, and gravel is impossible. It's too small to be a weapon. What if the gravel was put no, inside some sort of bag? Oh shit! That's what I was thinking. She used the school swimsuit to hold the old that gravel. A bag? What kind of bag? If 
the weapon is something that appeared in the game, and so is the bag. And the only thing I can think of is the school swimsuit. school swimsuit. If you tie the swimsuit like a bag and stuff it full of gravel, it'd make an effective weapon. Oh, I didn't even think about that. That, I knew gravel it. Gravel inside the swimsuit? Even the ace attorney would be astonished by such a fantastic <laughs> idea. <laughs> Thank you, For the killer, it's an idea that kills two birds with one stone. <gasps> and they use it to break out the window. Yep. As I was also right about that. To make people think the killer is some pervert. It oh, that too, though. For a school swimsuit to be stolen. And okay, if that we gotta remember was blue used words. to make an improvised weapon, it'd have to be disposed of later. How about it, Monokuma? Are you satisfied now? Satisfied this now? This happiness you feel when the mystery you create is solved! Only producers know this feeling of ecstasy! Well, thanks. It's not so, some things aren't obvious to us, Kyrie. Well, well, you also have to keep in mind we haven't played this game in such a long time. We forgot about. It's been a, a few months. Yeah. We forgot about some of the new rules. Yeah, there's a lot of new rules in the uh, the second game that we for I forgot about the what the blue statements but meant. The real yeah. important talk begins now. Girl E had someone who can be called an accomplice. That person was actually Girl D. No, she took the pictures. Girl That's right. D. You're talking about Mahiru, right? Huh? Mahiru is the accomplice? What is this? What does that mean? The piece of face that became an important clue in the music room murder. Girl D got rid of it. And apparently the reason Girl E committed murder in the first place was to protect Girl D. Hmm. What? Girl D was being harassed by the victim. <gasps> oh! Girl E found out and right. tried to stop it. And they ended up getting into an argument. And she felt a rush of anger and ended up killing her. Oh, but that's such an improvised weapon. But she should have had a clear murderous intent. I mean... She choked her up oh. and then bludgeoned her to death. That makes more sense, okay. She yeah. probably made her unconscious by accident. And from there, she couldn't go back. I, I somewhat understand that feeling. You can? You That's can? pretty scary. That's pretty scary. But yeah. Girl Lee was also killed by someone on the fourth day. Or the game's last day. I might as well ask just in case. Who do you think killed Girl E? Think of as that guy, Guy F. I see. It should have been Guy the F. Guy F. A scenario where Guy F murders Girl E out of a burning hellfire desire to avenge his murdered sister. But, but Guy F is what? It's just a story in a video game, isn't it? That's all you can say. If that game is telling the truth, it'd be a huge problem for you. Hey, clear this up for me. Those of you who appeared as characters in the game, do you remember this incident? That is, I'm terribly sorry, but they don't remember. That's obvious, because their school memories were like totally stolen. Yeah. Oh my god, that was totally... Uh, Junko. Yeah. Like, totally oh, stolen. I already know. It's obvious that guy is the killer. No one would kill a nice person like Mahiru besides a piece of shit menace to society like Fuyuhiko. Girl E and Mahiru were killed by that guy. <sighs> you sure do talk a lot of shit. Well, I'm used to it by now. But does Mahiru's murder have anything to do with that game? Perhaps the two are unrelated. No, the game of Mahu's death are probably related. In actuality, there's an important shared point with Girl E and the murderer. The... the bad. I can prove it with this! I can prove it with this! 
I'm not sure the two events are so unrelated. The two events are unrelated. At the very least, the killer, the very least, the definitely, killer was played the definitely played the game. As proof, Mahiru, who was killed in the beach was house. Killed in the beach house. And girl E, who was killed in the game, was killed in the game. Both killed by a blow to the head with a metal bat. With the metal bat. There's no way we can ignore that connection. Someone must have wanted to split her head open the exact same way the avenge the first victim. Hey, why don't you confess already? You're the one who killed Mahiru, right? Steven. Stevie Kitty. You better cut that out right now! There is no way a stupid game could be the motive! You're dumb enough to believe that stupid game and that's why you killed her as revenge! If you keep making up your mind like that, we're just going to go around in circles. <gasps> and I agree. It's true, Fuyuhiko may look suspicious, but don't you think that'd be too obvious? What? What are you- I mean, there's a possibility that it's a trap set by the true killer. Trap? What do you mean? I agree. The true killer played that game and most likely found out about the relationships between the characters. That person could be using that knowledge to try to set up for Yuhiko. Are you saying that a completely different killer murdered Mahiru and used the game motive as their cover? Isn't that what happened, Yoko? Huh? Don't you understand? I'm saying you might be the true killer. Pekko thinks she's the killer. Interesting. <laughs> what is this? Like, I can only laugh. What are you even saying, you nasty toilet clogging bitch? Ah, oh, here it comes. Well, this one's easy. What are you saying, you four eyed troll? Accusing me of killing Mahiru? <laughs> You're so mean! Why do you She's doubt Hyoko? Do you know where Hyoko was today? She was at the beach house, the scene of the crime. But I didn't go to the beach house! I was pushing Mr. Ann! Ah, dang! Sorry, I had to leave the call for a second because it was Lord? lagging bad. <laughs> Why do you doubt? Do you know where he oak? She was at the beach house, the scene of the. But I didn't go to the beach house. No, that's wrong. No, that's no, wrong. That's wrong. Wait a minute. We Wait a minute. Been at the beach you should have been Hiyoko. at the beach house, Hyoko. Seriously, I told you I didn't. But. These footprints in the but sand in front, of the the sand in front of the beach house. Aren't they yours? Aren't they yours? I don't have such ugly footprints. They're probably Mekons based on how ugly they are. Don't decide that based on ugliness. Huh. They're not Hyoko's footprints? That's strange. That's strange. The footprint I collected from your room matches these footprints perfectly. Collected? I never gave you permission to collect that, you nasty pedo! <laughs> the footprints left in the sand were facing away from the beach house. Which means, when the owner of these footprints went inside the beach house, they used a different entrance. A yeah. different entrance? Are you talking about the door facing the road that Mahiru's body was leaning against? Are you saying, when that person went inside the beach house, the body hadn't appeared yet? The door was still accessible when they went in, and wasn't when they left. Which means something happened in between those two events. Isn't that right, Hyoko? Oh, I remember now. I remember when I went to the beach house. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So you finally decided to confess. I'm pretty sure you guys already know this, but going for walks in the morning is my daily routine. I've never heard of that daily routine before. And that's when I went to the beach house. I went there on my morning walk. I see. If you went there during your morning walk, that doesn't have anything to do with the case at all. Don't hmm. believe her so easily, dumbass. She's obviously lying. Huh? It's a lie? People who call other people liars are usually liars themselves. If you say I'm lying, prove it. Can you even prove that I'm lying? 
Why, yes. <laughs> There's no way a bunch of worthless idiots like you guys would be able to do that. Gummy. Wait, what? The letter. Oh, yeah. I did go to the beach house. But only during my morning walk. I didn't go any other time. Then you didn't meet up with Mahiru at the beach house? <laughs> Obviously not. Saying I met up with her when I never even saw her? Ah, uh, damn. Uh, wrong one. Yep. Damn it. Damn it. My bad. You kind of jumped the gun the there. I did go to the beach house. I know. But only during my morning walk. I didn't go any other time. Then you didn't meet up with Mahiru at the beach house? <laughs> Obviously not. Saying I met up with her when I never even saw her? Is this a panel of idiots? It's not the letter. Wait, is that really true? I did go to the beach house. But only during my morning walk. I didn't go any other time. Then you didn't meet up with Mahiru at the beach house? <laughs> Obviously not! Saying I met up with her when I never even saw her? Is this a panel of what idiots? What if she saw her on the... What if she saw her on the... on her morning walk? I did go to the beach house. But only during my morning walk! No, that's ah! wrong! No, that's wrong! Only during your morning walk. Only during your huh? morning walk, huh? Will you still claim that? Will you still that claim that after you take a look at this letter? So Hiyoko was able to arrange a meeting with Mahiru by exchanging letters with her. What is that letter? I'm serious, I don't know. Oh snap, I remember now. I totally saw you. Huh? Oh yeah! Me and Hajime met up at the diner around 3 p.m. to go to the beach. I saw you about 30 minutes later, so it should have been around 3.30 p.m. See. So if she met Mahiru at 2.30 p.m., killed her, then ran away afterward, I think 3.30 p.m. is a reasonable time for you to have witnessed Hiyoko. You're wrong! You're totally wrong! Now that you mention it, you also passed by the diner Fuyuhiko. So you should have seen Hiyoko too, right? No, I didn't. You didn't? It's just a coincidence that I passed by the diner. I wasn't even paying attention to the beach house. I went straight back to my cottage after I saw you guys. I didn't see anyone during that time. For some reason, that sounds suspicious too. It's the truth. Deal with it. Just leave him alone. It'd be a waste of time to question him any further. Anyway, that letter in Kazuchi's testimony says it all. You were meeting up with Mahiru at the beach house. Seriously? I don't know. I didn't even write that letter. I, I'm telling the truth. I really, really don't know. <laughs> is she really crying? Or is she faking, she faking it? it? She's probably faking it. We can assume she summoned Mahiru with the intention of killing her all along. That's why she wrote a letter to let her know where to meet, so the others wouldn't find out. And then you went ahead to the beach house, hid yourself in a specific place, and waited for Mahiru. There's evidence for that, too.
There's only one place she could have been. Here! Here. The place where Hiyoka was hiding. Are you talking about the closet? Yes, that's right. The gummy candy we found on the floor is the evidence. Hiyoko, your favorite candy is gummies, correct? Damn it, not again. What's a gummy? I've never eaten something like that before. Oh my god. <laughs> I have captured the true character of this mystery. Ah, I Yoko, know. who summoned Mahiru to the beach house, hid inside the closet like a familiar. When she saw her chance, she attacked her like an evil spirit and left the beach house like a swift wind. But Hiyoko miscalculated that Mahiru's body would be blocking the door at that time. Because of that, she was only able to leave from the beach side door and ended up leaving her footprints. Mm -mm, that doesn't sound right either. <laughs> we have presented the proof. My four dark devas of destruction didn't even need to come out. It's a trap. This is obviously someone's trap. Who's someone? Whose trap is it? it? It must be that one person. You know, the one with the mask, maybe? The one with the mask? There was a suspicious mask at the beach house, right? Whoever was wearing that could be the real killer. Yeah, but so she had to have been there. She knew about the mask because she never went to the uh, beach house after that. Yeah, that is. You're true. the one who wore that mask and killed Mahiru, right? There's no way I'd wear such a childish mask. Is your brain fried or something? That is right. It cannot be Hyoko. That mask belongs to Sparkling Justice. <sighs> huh? Sparkling what now? That mask says it all. Sparkling Justice is hiding on this island. God dang it. Which means the legendary serial killer Sparkling Justice is the one who killed Mahiru. Why you? If you continue to say such foolish things, I shall tear you limb from limb. Don't blame Miss Sonia. It's just a difference between cultures. A uh, culture shock, you know? Yoko, why don't you just admit it already? You're being unreasonably stubborn. It's all in your head! Oh, why can't you understand? I'm not the killer! It's true that Yoko is suspicious, but there's something strange. Something that doesn't make sense. I can't help but feel like we're being directed by someone. I shall render my verdict upon this mystery's conclusion. Hiyoko is the sinner who killed Mahiru! Uh, I'm telling you, it's a trap! There's no doubt. You went to the beach house, right? Uh, oh, that is... And weren't you also hiding in the closet? So that's when you dropped the gummy! You waited for your chance to kill Mahiru. And afterward, you fled from the beach house. At the time, the door facing the road was blocked by the body. Mm -hmm. So you were forced to flee from the beachside entrance. And that's how you left your footprints. I shall render my verdict upon this mystery's conclusion. Hiyoko is the sinner who killed Mahiru! Uh, uh, I'm telling you, it's a trap! It's a trap. There's no doubt! You went to the beach house, right? Uh, oh, that is... Wait, and weren't you also hiding in the closet? The killer's escape what? Room. So that's when you dropped the gummy! You waited for your chance to kill Mahiru. And afterward, you fled from the beach house. Where where am I putting it? At the time, the door facing the road yeah. was blocked by the body. No. So you were forced uh -huh. to flee from the beachside entrance. And that's how you left your foot there. No, no, didn't think so. I didn't think so. 
I could have been. Damn I it. thought she could have been. The killer could have been wearing her shoes. I shall render my verdict upon this mystery's conclusion. Hiyoko is the sinner who killed Mahiru. I, I'm telling you, it's a trap. There's no doubt. You went to the beach house, right? Stop telling us the answers, guys. And weren't you also yeah, hiding do in the not, closet? Not unless we ask. So that's explicitly. when you dropped the gummy. You waited for your chance to kill Mahiru. And afterward, you fled from the beach house. At the time, the door facing the road. Or maybe was God of Shadows guessing. Body. Maybe. So you were forced to flee from the beachside entrance. And that's how you left your footprints. Okay. What if it's the killer? Wait, maybe it's, hold on, maybe it is trap, hold on. Okay. I shall render my verdict upon this mystery's conclusion. Hiyoko is the sinner who killed Mahiru! I, I'm telling you, it's a trap! Oh, I can't select it either. There's no okay. doubt. Okay, nope. Okay, that, I was thinking that too. You went to the beach house, right? I know I can't. We can't, Goddess Shadow. And weren't you also hiding in the closet? So that's when you dropped the gummy. You waited for your chance to kill Mahiru. And afterward, you fled from the beach house. At the time, the door facing the road was blocked by the body. So you were forced to flee from the beachside entrance. And that's how you left your footprints. Fair. Uh, damn, I don't know. My verdict upon this mystery's conclusion. Hiyoko is the sinner who killed Mahiru! I I'm telling you, it's a trap! There's no doubt. You went to the beach house, right? Hi, Ryan. Uh, oh, is... Wait, killer's escape room. And weren't you also by, hiding in the by closet? Mahiru. So that's when you dropped okay. the dummy. You think? Yeah. You I know, I'm sorry, goddess. And afterward, you fled from the beach house. At the time, the door facing the road was blocked by the body. Nope. No. Damn it! I shall I render know. my verdict. I don't know what it is. Mystery's conclusion. Hiyoko is the sinner who killed Mahiru. I, I'm telling you, it's a trap. There's no doubt. You went to the beach house, right? Uh, oh, that is. And weren't you also hiding in the closet? So that's when you dropped the gummy. You waited for your chance to kill Mahiru. And afterward, you fled from the beach house. At the time, the door facing the road was blocked by the body. So you were forced to flee from the beachside entrance. And that's how you left your footprints. There's, there's something not right. At this rate, we're gonna run out of time again. Okay, then let's then let's pause here and think. So we have like everything matches up. I think she dropped the gummy. Wait, check the gummy bag. Uh, press F1. Do they even have any yellows? Yeah, I think. so. No, it did not. It doesn't have yellow. You're wait, right. Wait, check the details. Check the details. It said details. There were four of them. Other one. Strawberry, melon, grape, and 
orange. Not what? lemon. No, there isn't lemon. The gummy bag. No. Yeah, the gummy bag. I shall render my verdict upon this mystery's conclusion. Piyoko is the sinner who killed Mahiru. Uh, I'm telling you, it's a trap. There's no doubt. You went to the beach house, right? Uh, oh, that is... And weren't you also hiding in the closet? So that's when you dropped the gummy. No, that's no, that's wrong. Wrong. That's wrong. Good thing I remember. Good thing I thought to check that. I that's thought melon was yellow, but no, melon's green. Is Yoko really the only it? one childish enough to eat gummies is that midget over there. You're a midget too, you know. You're the one who worries about never getting taller. It's true, Hyoko likes to eat gummies, but she only eats a specific brand. The brand of gummies you eat only have strawberry, melon, grape, and orange flavors, right? Huh? But what about the lemon flavor? The, the gummy at the crime scene was yellow, so it obviously looked like it was lemon flavored. Huh? That gummy is yellow? And it's not mine! The ones I eat don't have any yellow gummies! Yeah, but it was, uh, it was a gummy bag, though. That was the answer. But yeah. That's right. None of the gummy bags in her cottage had any yellow ones. Sorry, I keep, we can't my assume Hyoko was fucking is up. the one who dropped that uh. yellow gummy. See? Yeah. Didn't I tell you? It's definitely a trap! That's true. Sis. Damn it! Who would set a trap what? like this? I hate to say this, but I think Peko did it. What? No. Oh, Sis, she was revenge. wet. I'm gonna bop you on the head with all my might. Says she was wet when she came in. I know. Um, let, let's just wait a minute. Hold on, you little bitch. You think you're in the clear just because of a little gummy? Don't be stupid. I'm not done backing you into a corner yet. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, let's listen. Yeah. We're not done with Hyoko yet. There's still a huge piece of evidence left. You're talking about the footprints near the beach house, right? It's true, that's an important piece of evidence. And we can thank Mahiru for it. What does that mean? Mahiru used her last ounce of strength and blocked the door to the road, thanks to her. Ah, uh, We have toxic. the evidence we need. Yep. That's wrong. I left those footprints during my morning walk. All right, I know what it is. Yoko yet. There's still a huge piece of evidence left. You're talking about the footprints near the beach house, right? It's true. That's an important piece of evidence. And we can thank Mahiru for it. What does that mean? Mahiru used her last ounce of strength. No, that's no, wrong. No, that's no, wrong. wrong. Okay. Mahiru didn't block the you door. didn't block the door. Her death, her death was instant. Instant death? According to my autopsy, yes. There's no doubt that Mahiru died instantly. If you keep making shit up, I'll fucking kill you! <gasps> um, I'm sorry! Ryuhiko, you cannot do that. Only a coward threatens women. I'm pretty sure her death was instant, too. I mean, her injury was only a single blow. That's why Mahiru isn't the one who blocked the door. Someone else used her body to block it. So someone else? The killer, of course. They're the one who blocked the door with Mahiru's body. That's why there were bloody drag marks left on the floor. But why did the killer block the door? Just ask Kyoko. She's the killer, after all. But she's so tiny that- Seriously! That's not true! Let's assume Kyoko is the killer. Wouldn't that mean she's also the one who dragged the body? 
If she handled a body that bloody, I think her clothes or skin would have been stained with blood. Huh? But when I saw her, she was... She was clean. She was clean. See? I told you I wasn't the killer! Yay! With this, my innocence has been proven! I won't let you look down on me! Oh! Uh-oh. We haven't decided uh -oh. that yet! Hey, Fuyuhiko. Why do you keep insisting that Hyoko is the killer? Hyoko is the killer. Shut up! I'm telling you, she's the killer! That little bitch is definitely the killer! If Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hyoko did it. She killed oh, Mahiru oh. and blocked the door with Hyoko is the only killer I could think of. If Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her body. Hyoko is the only killer I could think of. You have to push him more back before you can do that. I know. I know. If Mahiru didn't, then Hyoko did it. She killed and blocked the door with Hyoko is the only killer I could think of. If Hyoko moved the body, then she should be covered in blood. So what, dumbass? There's a shower room inside. After she moved the body, she just washed it off in the shower. Allow me to cut through those words. I'm in those words. No. Washing no. it off in the shower. Washing off in the impossible. shower is impossible. Because the shower in the, beach, the, house shower in the beach house was out of order. Out of order? I'm terribly sorry. I haven't had any time to actually repair it. Then maybe she took her clothes off to move the body, and when she was done, she put them back on. Eh. Are you saying I did something that perverted? I see! She can't get dressed by herself! Listen to me, Fuyuhiko. Hyoko mentioned this before. Did she? Which means, Hyoko can't change by herself. It's impossible for her to put on and take off her clothes. What? Oh yeah, she couldn't even tie her sash on her own. That's why she couldn't take a bath and smell bad. I, I didn't smell. And it only smelled a little. Oh, wasn't changing inside the beach house prohibited in the first place? Yes, yeah. if you broke the rules, I'm pretty sure Monokuma wouldn't have kept quiet. Damn right! I'm such a stickler for the rules that even Safari Park See, I told you! Nothing to do with me! I told you! Well, no, I, n I never disagreed with you, If she didn't change this. her clothes, then what did Hyoko do with the blood that got on her? Like I've been saying, the blood wasn't on me in the first place! Cause I never touched my hero's body. Hi, Q. Hey, if you think about it the other way around, does that mean whoever was covered in blood is suspicious? Hmm. We're gonna move on to Akane. Yeah. Here we go. Cause if so, I believe Akane was soaked with blood when we all met up to go to the beach. Didn't I tell you that was because I got beat up by Coach Nekomaru? I can attest to that. If I See? hadn't gotten that rough with her, she never would have backed down. Doubt oh. me, of all people. You got some nerve. All right. Well, that's what we I'll needed. bend your body in half so you're stuck in a bowing position for the rest of your life. That actually sounds pretty cool. The hell it does. <laughs> hey, more importantly, I'm okay now, right? It's okay. That I'm not oh. the killer? Hold on a sec, Kathy's calling me. Okay. Hello. How you doing, Q? You're a funny goddess.
I have a few things. Uh, I have a few uh, options on who did it, Q. I think... Oh, no, no, no. It's not Fuyuhiko. We already figured that out, Q. You weren't here in the beginning of the trial. No, I saw the fan service track, Kyrie. Also, I will see. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you later then. Yeah, I need a Nintendo card. Bye. I... It's not the guy who's blaming Hyoko Goddess. We already. Fuhiko did not kill. We already know this. This was already proven. It's d Yeah, it would be way too easy if he was. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Seems like it. See? I already told you. There's no way I'd kill Mahiru. Because Mahiru taught me how to wear a kimono, and she was very, very kind. There's no way I would kill a nice person like her. Why wouldn't you believe me earlier? You guys are stupid! Stupid, stupid, stupid! Hyoko, please don't cry. Everything is fine now, right? Shut the hell up, pig bark! I hope you get a hangnail and die! <laughs> and I'm sorry for being pig bark! Oh my god. More importantly, Fuhiko's behavior earlier was definitely strange. Getting so worked up and accusing Kyoko of being suspicious. Could it be? Does he actually have something else Hey, Hyoko! Now that our suspicions have been addressed, can you tell us the truth? Huh? Even though you're not the killer, you still went to the beach house, right? Like I said, it was a trap! Yeah, I got that already, so... Can you give us the details about that trap? I would like to know too! It might lead to some kind of clue! Fine. You want me to talk, huh? Um, earlier this morning, Mahiru was the one who came up to me. She asked if we could meet up later. Huh? But didn't you say earlier... Damn it! So that was a lie? Cuz I thought it'd be doubted if I admitted it. So I figured it was better not to say anything. So, what was your answer to Mahiru's invitation? I told her it was fine. I mean, I didn't have a reason to say no. Unlike everyone else here, Mahiru was someone I wasn't embarrassed to be seen with. You always have to say something snide. At the time, yep. we were supposed to meet around 2 p.m., but... Around noon, there was a letter inside my mailbox. A letter? Huh? A letter? Yeah, this one! It seems so there's someone I want to... wants to interfere with our meeting. Let's keep it secret until then. Let's try this. <gasps> the I note knew. wasn't... The note wasn't written by Hyoko. It was written by Mihiru. No, it was a setup. It was a setup. Change the place. Okay, I want to... 2 p.m. <gasps> and then my hero got one that said 2.30. It was a setup. Yep. That means... Baco did it. I saw this letter and went to the beach house at that time. Right. I can prove it with this. I can prove it with this. Take this that. Letter. Doesn't it look like its contents are different from the letter Mahiro had? Mahiro's letter said to meet at 2.30 p.m. But in Hyoko's letter... Yoko. They both got different letters from the same person! Look, even the handwriting is the same. Oh. This is... This was premeditated. Whoa! The meeting times are off! It's also strange that both letters wanted to change their meeting spot to the beach house. 
It would be plausible if one of them said it, but for both letters to say the same thing? Hyoko, since you wrote it, what do you think? Like I said, I never wrote the letter! How many times do I have to tell you? Which letter did the killer forge? I see! I That's see! It. The killer must have forged both letters. Both letters. The killer forged them so they could manipulate their actions. Yeah, that's how we should think about it. That seems very likely. In fact, if you compare both letters, confirm! They're the Just as I assumed, the handwriting I is the it. same. The, handwriting. the content of the letters matches too. Like this part, I was going to tell you in person. But I couldn't find you, so I put this in your mailbox. This part... It seems there's someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. And this part... Let's keep it a secret. Until then, let's try not to see each other for a while. Yeah... The, the killer forged... Both of so those letters! So that way letters. they couldn't compare letters. In doing so, they were able to control Hyoko and Mahiru to do their bidding, like a netherworld puppeteer. So they completely tricked me, and then my hero's killer. <laughs> How mean! Give me back my hero. Really, this is really terrible. I've offered to help so many times, but the killer this time didn't discuss their plan with me at all. It's all my fault. I'm so ashamed of oh being God. unreliable. Here we go again. go again. Once we let our guard down, this happens. We can just lightly punch him to death later. <laughs> what the letter said. You went to the beach house at 2 p.m., right, Hyoko? What's most important is what happened afterward. What on earth happened there? What happened there? <laughs> I fell asleep. What? <gasps> she woke up, saw her dead, and then ran out. That, that has to be it. And that's why she was crying. She did not see the murderer! Son of a bitch! It's not like I wanted to. I think I was forced to get a whiff of some kind of medicine or something. <gasps> medicine? Th that medicine... Could it be? Did they get it from the drugstore? I thought that place seemed unsafe. They even have prescription medicines laying out in the open. If you were aware of that from the start, you should have done something about it. <laughs> I'm sorry. When I woke up, I was inside a small closet. They chloroformed her? Yeah, they must have had chloroform. And when I rushed out, I I saw my hero's body. And that's why you ran out of the beach house in such a panic. I was scared. It was really, really scared. Really scared that I couldn't help, but... Yeah! The killer probably planned to frame Hyoko from the start. And for that reason, they summoned Hyoko before Mahiru, put her to sleep, and shoved her inside the closet. So their reason for blocking the door with Mahiru's body was to make Hiyoko leave her footprints as evidence. That makes so much sense. Yeah. Everything was done to frame Hiyoko as the killer. That's horrible. I didn't do anything wrong. And I was framed by Mahiru's killer. Okay, okay. I don't like her, but damn, that is cruel. That is cruel. Please do not cry. We believe you. Is it really okay to believe her so easily? She might be faking those tears, you know. Yeah, for you, he will so never end if you keep being so suspicious. Being so suspicious. Isn't that what a class trial is all about? The only way to survive is to be suspicious. This is where we go to thoroughly doubt each other. So if you believe in each other so easily, then there's definitely something wrong with you. You're wrong, Fuyuhiko. We aren't supposed to doubt each other here. We're supposed to work together. The class trial is where we cooperate with each other, work hard, and aim for victory. The That's killer and everyone else. 
Two hopes attempting to grasp the one true hope. Two hopes clashing with each other as poetry in motion. That is what a class trial should be. Oh my god, now you're totally gone crazy yeah. again. Obviously, which side are which you side on? Are you want? I'm on the side of the absolute hope that can overcome any despair. And I believe that absolute hope exists at the point where two hopes clash. Your stance is neither white nor black, but gray. And you do not yearn for your life, or even for victory. Jeez, I wish he'd just side with the enemy already so I can believe what he's saying! Right? Yeah, I know, right? Believing every little thing Nagito every little says, thing is, Nagito a waste says is a waste of time. Yeah, we need to figure out who Mahiru's killer is. Uh, no, I'm not playing another episode after the trial. Yeah. Sadly. Well, it's, it's already... yeah, so... We've already been... This could have been tricks. contained in what Hyoko has told us. So, right. let us believe Hyoko's words and discuss it once again with everyone. Yep, yeah. Okay. The debate proceeds when you assume you can believe each other. Good job! That's the right way! Oh. Oh yeah, I'm playing. I'm gonna play this game to the end, Kyrie. We're playing. I'm playing this game to the end. Hey, what do you think of that, Monokuma? I'm not gonna let you have the outcome you want. Hey. <laughs> oh no, oh, Monokuma God. fell asleep. Whoa, whoa. He's sleeping. He's sleeping. Dumbasses. You bastards don't know anything. If you're stupid enough to trust each other. The only thing waiting for you is the bitter truth. That may be true, but... Even so, we can't just stand around here all day. Even if what lies ahead is a cruel ending, the only thing we can do is move forward. Because unless we reveal who among us is Mahiro's true killer, there's no way we'll survive. I hate when it does that. Well now. You're not gonna do that. You're gonna spoil the killer is? If you really answer before everyone's ready, they'll be shocked. They'll fill with despair. You can't, it's seriously a big no no. But spoiling right now is innovative, don't you think? The club president and I are powerless against innovation. So, without further ado, the answer is. <laughs> you can't even close your eyes and cover your ears. You say Nanu in German when you're surprised. <sighs> um. I don't think what you're talking about is someone who feels wrong to me. I. Uh. Uh, sis, I think this is a good time to, to, to take a small break. <sighs> I'm Monami, and my heart is throbbing like oh crazy right God. now. God. Yeah, yeah, let's take a small break, go to the bathroom, grab something to drink, something like that. You know, get up and stretch. No, I'm good. Well, well, I need to at least use the bathroom. All right, go use the bathroom. All right, I'll be right back. I'll talk to my lovely viewers. While well, we all watch this pink rabbit in a diaper. Talk about throbbing heart. Alrighty. This song is weird. I'm so excited for yeah the the bunny <laughs> the bunny scare is you cute. Uh, I'm excited for Joker. Uh, I'm really excited for Joker and Smash. It is gonna be so good.
Nah. All right. I'm good now. Also, really got a shadow. Haha. <laughs> Uh, no, so, it's not that she's not wearing that because she wants to. Monokuma's making yeah, her she... wear it. Yeah, it's because of Monokuma. It's Monokuma's fault, so it's Monokuma that should scare you, not the bunny. She's a victim. Yeah, she tries to be all sweet, but she can't. Alright, I'm getting a combi. Hold on, I'm catching a combi. Oh, shoot, no wonder my... No wonder my internet's been screwed up. I had your streams going on both Twitter and YouTube. Oh, Psh, dumbass. You know what? I deserve that. <laughs> that was that's so stupid. I can't believe you did that. I forgot. Okay. <laughs> dumbass. Mm. Uh, come on, Combi. Trying to catch the damn combi. It's being stupid. I meant to that the person who killed the wonderful Mahiru Koizumi is in this room. Like impossible! Impossible! That's so impossible! There's no way I can believe that. A sis? Yeah. I do feel a little sorry for Hyoko. Yeah, a little bit though. Only a little bit. Well, because she lost she lost so much she really she really liked and admired. That's, I can't I know. do anything. How annoying. But I'm just gonna believe in everyone. That's the least I can do. Everyone do your best. Don't lose to yourselves. And don't forget to save regularly. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, Thank now you. that we've decided to believe Hyoko, now what? Now what? If the killer was luring was Hyoko luring into, Hyoko a trap, into a trap, then something that was something used there might be a clue. There might be a clue. Hmm. Do you mean the, water the letter? Bottles. No, it was probably the it gummy. It was probably the gummy. Huh? Can I cure? I know cure. Everyone knows it's Joker's out today. Hey, when you woke up, was the gummy already there? Uh, now that you mention it, I feel like it wasn't. Just as I thought. Just as you thought? If the killer planted evidence while Hiyoko was there. She would have thrown it away if she found it. That means the killer was in the beach house when she woke up. Yeah. Probably in the bathroom. Okay, okay. So, okay, so that narrows it down. So, Hyo so Hyoko woke up around 3.30. She saw my hero and she ran. That means whoever wasn't in the cafe by 3.30, before 3.30, uh... Is what is it's suspicious. A, is a suspect. Which is both Pekko and Sonia. Sonia. Which means the gummy was placed inside the closet after Hiyoko fled from the beach house? And that's and that's another reason why Fuyuhiko can't be the killer. Yeah. The killer returned to the scene of the crime? After I left? They wouldn't have to do something that troublesome as long as they hid somewhere within the beach house. The bathroom. That's impossible! There's nowhere to hide! I even glanced inside the shower room as I was running away, but there was nobody there! Wait, really? Wait, really? Well, well she was already near the window. Hmm. If she only glanced... Then does that mean the killer came back? They could have used the window to get in now. Hmm. Cause they couldn't leave footprints. If they if they'd went if they went back inside side through the beachside door, they would have left footprints too, and their whole plan would have would have been screwed up completely. So they had to use the window. Right, sis? Yep, so I'm doing math in my head. Okay. First, uh, hmm. no. Hmm. I, wonder. I wonder. At any rate, the solution to that problem is connected to what really happened. That's what I think. Hmm. Oh. Hmm? 
Oh, this is the new- I knew there was a new mode. Yeah, I thought that too. Oh my god. Good luck, sis. Question one. Question one. When did the killer arrive at the beach house? Before Hyoko arrived. Oh, I see. You gotta be on the red path. Yeah, it had Oh, that's right. Before Hyoko arrived. Oh, I see. In the upper left, it says two and three. So there are three questions we gotta answer. Question two. When did the killer leave the beach house? It had to be before she left. No? Nope. When did the Really? It was after she left? Okay. Oh, yeah, that, I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. Because she couldn't come back. <sighs> well, that's what I. This is what I call a train of thought. Where was the killer hiding while Kyoko was unconscious? The beach house. Had to be the beach house. Obviously. Okay. So they were hiding in the beach house. That's obvious. It's, it's all, all coming together. together. Do you think the killer might have been hiding? You spent all that time thinking just to say something so pointless. <laughs> pointing. Didn't I just say there was nowhere to hide? Do I have to explain it in another language so you can understand? Her personality got a hell of a lot more forceful once she stopped being a suspect. No. Yeah. There should have been a place for them to hide. A place you didn't look, Hyoko. The window. Yeah, the roof! The roof. What are you saying? Stop being annoying or I'm gonna make a Akane bop you on the head and shut you up for good. Wait, was she hiding? Was she hiding in the closet with her? Here! What? The killer was probably, was hiding, probably in the closet. hiding in the closet. Excuse me? The closet? That's where I was locked up! After you woke up, you said woke you up. rushed out of there. Rushed right? out of there, right? And you probably didn't look inside the closet very carefully. 
But could two people even hide in such a small place? And without Hyoko knowing? That's why the killer made sure to arrange a hiding place. <gasps> right there. <sighs> I knew it. There was some stuff on the shelf. Crap. It, oh, look, the second oh. shelf. Look. See, it's open. Here. Oh. Yep, I see it. What about the surfboard case in the closet? The case in I'm pretty closet. sure they could have hidden in there. Huh? Inside the surfboard case? That means they had to be really With skinny. The shelf it was on. It was pretty messy, don't you think? Two surfboards were stacked on the top shelf. And there were surfboards that weren't even in a case. Oh! You're right! The killer probably that did that on place. purpose to secure a hiding place. Because we haven't been on this island that long, so the closet shouldn't have been that messy, I think. Then, the killer was close to me during that time? Oh, damn. Yeah, they were quietly yeah. holding their breath and hiding breath. very close hiding to you. Very close to you. It's kind of like, in for a penny, in for a pound, so to speak. Don't you mean, it's always darkest under the lighthouse? <laughs> I shouldn't say things I don't understand, like, so to speak. Anyway, anyway, the killer hid silently, and after making sure Hyoko left, they finally left the surfboard case. And then left the dummy there. I agree with that as well. Seriously, nobody asked what you think. There's no way the killer would leave Hyoko by herself if they were trying to frame her. If Hyoko was left alone and ruined the evidence the killer had planted, it would have messed up their plan. That's true. Instead, mm -hmm. it makes more sense to think that the killer was hiding in the beach house, watching Hyoko. Saying whatever you want, even if we didn't ask. All right, if you don't want to friggin' get punched, just stand still and let me punch ya! That the Akane. Oh, you shut up. Then, grit your teeth. Sorry, Akane. It's not like that. Hey, Monokuma. Can I ask you about something that seems strange to me? I believe Prince Shotoku was from the future. A man from the <laughs> is always directing the flow of history. I'll listen to your story Not about men from the future some other time. As yeah, I recall, that will work. The out. body discovery announcement is made when three or more people discover a body, right? Is the killer right. also included? Among those That's what I was people. wondering, remember, Phil? Yeah, we were rumor. I, I remember. I was wondering that. Yeah, that's true, but, uh, well, uh, something like that is basically what it's supposed to be. Monokuma? Why are you being hesitant? You don't sound very articulate. Very articulate. Jeez, you're pretty annoying for noticing something like that. The killer isn't? Wait, what? I know it sounds like an excuse, but the body discovery announcement isn't supposed to be used for deduction. It's intended to create a fair trial. It's supposed to let everyone know a body has been found. So you're saying it's unfortunate that I used it for deduction? I understand your excuse, but depending on who actually found the body, it's possible that your three or more people rule could be deadly. Well, as long as I keep things ambiguous, I can respond to situations with some flexibility. Flexibility, huh? So what about this time? Is it three people including the killer or not? Jeez, fine, fine! You want me to say it? It doesn't include the- Oh, no, what? Oh, All what? Done. What? What? Someone else saw the- So, because we know Hyoko, and then it was Soda that ran in. Yeah, that's when- Right? The, yeah, that's when the body, body discover was played. So then, who's the third person who found the body? Fuyuhiko? Wait, did- It had to have been. Fuyuhiko had to have found the body then. 
That's why he was so insistent on Hyoko. Yeah. That's why he seems so distant. Wait, hold on a sec. This is my uncle. Aw, oh, damn. Hmm. I can't be. It has to. Well, because he was already by the diner when they got there. The Fuyuhiko might have s walked in, seen the murder. No. That doesn't seem right. When did they. Mm. No, they would have seen his footprints too. That doesn't make sense. I'm trying to figure out. So we know, so for sure, Hyoko found the body and Soda found the body. But we don't know who the third person that found the body is. Well, yeah, but how did Fuyuhiko see the body without seeing his footprints in the sand? Uh, shit, you're right. I didn't think about that. So at what point was he in there? Mm. That doesn't make sense. So, yeah, so we have two people confirmed. Big, yeah, and sadly, uh, Hajime doesn't count because we heard the body discovery announcement before we even got in there. Well, okay, so... We... Hmm. Well, let's Which hold means on. means three people other than the killer discovered Mahiru's body. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Nothing. I just thought it was somewhat strange. More importantly, no, Nagito. To our original topic. You're the one who went on a tangent. Uh, um, we were just saying the killer was hiding in the surfboard case, right? And after Hyoko ran away, the killer got to enjoy the simple life of destroying evidence. However, before we proceed any further. There's something we have to make clear. The killer blocked the roadside door with Mahiru's body before Hiyoko ran away. But what about the blood? Now that you mention it, that mystery hasn't been solved yet. It's going to be all right. If you guys have come this far, I'm sure you can discover that answer. Oh, too. I figured it out, Phil. Huh? I figured it out. What if Fuyuhiko saw the murder taking place? Oh shit. But no, that wouldn't make sense. Wait. No, that wouldn't have made sense at all. Wait, what if you Pico also got drugged? Got drugged and was put in the surfboard case. No. No, he would have left footprints now, too. Let's start the argument, shall we? Alright, let's let, let's continue. The final feature. From this point forward, you will now be able to use the truth flesh. Oh, oh, thank you! Oh, we couldn't do it before. Fucking. That's so stupid. You feel. Ah! No, no, don't worry about Akane. Akane didn't do it. We already figured that out, goddess. Yeah, we already figured that out. Oh, okay. All right. So we can't use it to agree. Okay. Shower room. All right. Then we only have the shower room. What did the killer do with the blood on their body? Maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? So washing it off would have been impossible. Okay, so that's they what didn't we have to use the shower. What about the wetsuits in the closet? Maybe they wore one when they moved the body. If they that used something thought. other than the shower. What did they do with the bloody wetsuit? They cut it up and flush. As someone who flushes their shit every morning, I can declare it would definitely clog the toilet. 
Maybe it's the other way around? Perhaps someone other than the killer moved the body? Maybe they were able to wash it off. Okay, so... So nope. it was the other way around. What did the killer do with the blood on their body? So we need... Maybe they simply washed it a, off. A different way to wash it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? So washing it off would have been impossible. They didn't have to use the shower. Oh, what about the wetsuits in the closet? Maybe they wore one when they moved the body. If they use something other than the shower... Grab that one. What did they do with the bloody wetsuit? They cut it up and... Oof. As someone who flushes their shit every morning, I can declare... It would definitely clog the toilet! Maybe it's the other way around? Perhaps someone other than the killer moved the body? Not other than the killer, damn it. Sorry. Shit, Maybe that was my bad. Were able to wash it off. I forgot I couldn't do that. Sorry. What did the killer do with the blood on their body? Maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? Your trigger finger assist was a little too itchy. So washing it off yep. would have been impossible. They didn't oh, okay, no, I know where to do. I know what to do. Uh, yeah, that's what, what I was going to say. What about the wetsuits? Maybe they wore one when they... If they used something other than the shower... What did they do with the blood? They cut it up and... There's someone who flushed... It would definitely clog... Maybe it's the other... Perhaps someone other... Maybe they were able to wash it off. No, okay, no, I know what to do. What did the killer do with the blood on their body? Maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? So washing it off would have been imp No, that's, no, that's wrong. wrong! If they just needed to wash, they just off, needed the to blood, wash off the blood, they didn't necessarily, they didn't have, necessarily to have to use the shower. See, I told you I figured this out earlier! Yeah, I, I never- Aren't you glad? Yeah, I never doubted you, sis. Aren't you glad that I figured that out? Yeah, no, could have just as easily used something else. Use something else. Something other than the shower. <laughs> like what? Something other than the shower that was used to wash off blood. The drinks inside the refrigerator. I see. I see. The drinks inside the refrigerator. Couldn't the killer have used those to wash off the blood? I seen through it. Oh. What? Excuse me, Pekka? In theory, but that's impossible. Why? Why? Try to remember the refrigerator carefully, and then you will understand that there's no possible way the drinks in the refrigerator were used. Trash can. All right. It's Ready? true there were in the beach, however, one who wouldn't be enough to wash off the blood. I can't back down! Huh? We can't assume they used just one drink. They could have used a bunch of them to wash it off. <laughs> Didn't I say it with there were no, there were only flavored drinks? If oh. you use those, the blood won't come off and your will leave an aromatic smelt, especially if you used a lot that alone would raise suspicion. Oh no, I know, I uh, no, I hit the wrong one. I was too trigger <laughs> finger. I say if there were no water bottles in the river. Allow me to cut through those words. Oh, there no. were water bottles, there were inside, water the bottles inside the refrigerator. How many times do I have to tell you? There were no water bottles in there whatsoever. That was after the incident, after right? After the incident, right? But before the incident, but before there the incident, were water, there bottles, were in water bottles in the fridge. And the fridge. killer took all of those water and bottles those water and used bottles them to wash, the, used blood them to wash the blood off their bodies. So you're saying the water bottles were gone because they were all used? That's a logical fallacy. It's not a fallacy. fallacy. There should have been evidence, there should have been inside, been evidence the inside the trash can. Evidence like a lot of thrown away plastic thrown water away bottles. Plastic bottle bottles. Isn't that right, Isn't Chiaki? that right, Chiaki? Ah, oh, you're right. These bottles look like they may have been filled with water. Well, now that you mention it, when I went to the beach house a few days ago, I feel like I drank one of those plastic water bottles. Huh? You should have said so sooner. Then, the plastic water bottles were used in place of the shower. 
Dousing your body with lots of water bottles is such a simple and easy to understand explanation. Hold on a sec. Now to think about it, if they soaked their entire body with a bunch of plastic water bottles, if they did that, the it person would be you've realized who the killer is. No! Told you! No! As soon as I as soon as I realized. Oh. Uh, as soon as, as soon as I think as soon as I said that, right? Hmm? Yeah. No. As soon as someone said that we were directing our we were directing See? our suspicion Just to Yoko. I I'm like the only one who was doing that was Peiko. Hold on. You you know who the king is? <sighs> is that true? Let me ask. Who might that be? And as a kendo and as a kendo man. If the killer used plastic water bottles to wash off the blood that splattered onto them, that killer Mahiru's killer must be that person. Cause she was soaking wet when she came in. You're the only one. You're the, You're only, the only one. one. Heko. Is, it, Is you? it you? She's a Kendo <sighs> master. She could easily. She would have do easily it. killed someone in one hit. With a metal bat. Maybe. What if it wasn't the metal bat? But who knows? That's not. Hey, doesn't matter now. What are you being quiet for? They're accusing you of being the killer! Then I should ask you this. Why do you believe I'm the killer? I remember when we were all meeting up to go to the beach. Your appearance when you came to the diner. Right. Your appearance when you came to the diner. If the killer really did wash the blood off with water bottles, they'd have to drench their entire body. But there were no towels in the beach house, and it would have taken a while for the water to fully air dry. Ah, oh, that's true. There were no towels in the beach house. So you said you went swimming so you'd have a cover story. Don't just stay silent. Say something. Hold on, you bastard. You hmm? saw her at the diner. You never saw her near the beach house, right? So maybe she really was swimming. Oh, calm down, Fuyuko. No Fuyuko. even saw her swimming. No, I saw her. What? Huh? 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 Uh, after I ran into you bastards at the diner, I crossed paths with her on my way home. So, so there's no doubt she would have arrived at the diner from the opposite direction of the beach house. Uh, Fuyuko. That doesn't sound very convincing. So why is he trying Hold to... Hold on. That's strange. Oh. Didn't you just say Didn't this earlier? Didn't you just earlier? say this earlier? It's just a coincidence that I passed by the diner. I didn't even pay attention to the beach house. I went straight back to the hotel after I saw you guys. I didn't see anyone during that time. You told me you didn't see anyone. Don't try to tell me you forgot about that. <laughs> Not so fast! It's too soon to decide she's a killer! Why? We haven't established how the killer was able to leave the beach house! Now that you mention it... Now that you mention it... The roadside door was blocked! And if it's impossible to leave from the beachside without leaving footprints... Then how the fuck did the killer escape? Um, why are you all fired up, Fuyuhiko? You're not the suspect, Peko is! Who cares about that? Answer me! If you have an explanation, then show me what you got! We might have an answer. Huh? Do you really? This mystery seems unsolvable. Well, if Peko is the killer, then I might just have an answer to that mystery. I see. Then let's hear this alleged method of escaping the beach house. First, Let's establish, Let's how, the establish how the killer escaped. Killer escaped out. The only possible thing I can think of is that opening. I see! I see. If the roadside and beachside doors aren't an option, 
The only other thing I can think of is... Well, nothing really. Except that small window in the small shower window room. window in the shower room. Huh. Don't you know how high that window is? There's no way Peko could have reached it. But, but what if, for instance, she got help from someone? Oh, yeah. They had to have had an accomplice. But why? Why help? She might have that would explain the third body. That would explain the third person, person to discover would have been the body. Behind. They had an accomplice. <sighs> so is that it possible explain the an object body? was used? The third a person rope, for instance? The body. Yeah. And what happened to the rope after they used it? And don't say something stupid like they threw it outside. Of course not. That would violate the school trip rule. That is true. Littering is prohibited. Even if it might be evidence, rules are still rules. You see? There's no way they'd be able to escape from that window. Fuyuhiko, are you the accomplice? Well, no, Fuyuhiko was not in the beach house. There's no way. You're right. No, because Fuyuhiko left from the beach house. And he went right to his bed. Before Hiyoko ran out, right? It was either. No, I think it was. Af I think it was after. No, we saw Fuyuhiko before we went into the diner. Did we? We might have. Yeah. No, mm. they just have to use an object. Chiaki, don't fall asleep on us. We just said they couldn't use an object. You did? I thought you were saying they couldn't dispose of an object. I see. You don't have to throw it away if you can just hide it somewhere on your body. The case. Her kendo case. Yeah, she always carries huh? that. Pekka was wearing a swimsuit, remember? Where would she even hide an object? And if you say she hid it in her special place, I'll stab you in yours! Ugh. No! Please don't be violent! Ah, fucking Hangman's Gambit. I know what it is, though. No, I don't want to. What was the question? No, I'm trying to. I don't remember. I don't know what I'm going to be hit looking for, though. Hit tab. Oh. Maybe it's... Oh. Bamboo! Right B. Oh, shit! Bamboo sword! There's... Yep, there it is! They had to have, she had to have used her bamboo sword to stand on it. Either that or she used, used it to attach the rope. Something like Damn. that. And then put the rope inside her inside her bamboo case. Damn it. You need to you, hit. <sighs> Damn it. Just hit you need to hit B. I know, but I I can't do it until I do that, Phil. Right. Come on, where's the Oh! Damn it! Wrong button. Damn. Okay, we need another O. Okay. Bamboo. Sword or blade? Uh we'll have to see if there's a we'll have to see if there's an S. S. Okay, it's sword. Yeah, so we, we need, need a W. Yeah, we need a W. 
There. Okay, we need an R. And the last letter. There's the last letter. Bamboo sword. Bamboo sword. I got it. Peko, you carry that bamboo sword yeah, that on your bamboo back sword at all on times, your back right? Times, right? If I recall correctly, correctly, you had it then too. You had it then too. If she went swimming, why would she Despite have it with her? Despite the fact that you had a swimsuit on, you were still wearing your you bamboo sword. You were still sword. wearing your bamboo sword. Are you saying she used that bamboo sword to escape through the window? Yeah. Peko used that bamboo sword as a step stool and escaped out the window. A uh, sword as a step stool? You see? I knew it! I knew it was a ninja! Didn't I tell ya? A ninja could have climbed that easily! Ninjas know a climbing trick where they lean their sword against a wall and use the handguard as a step stool. I didn't even know that! Good job, Akane! Whoa. Just like a Japanese ninja. And and oh, Sonia. And with the and being her being the ultimate swordswoman, her bamboo sword has to be really durable. Miss Sonia, ninjas only exist in Japan. Well, it is a bamboo sword, but I'm sure a slender girl like Peko could easily use it to climb. Well, Peko, do you have anything to say? Anything to say? You bastard! You're saying oh, she used You're her sword as a being... step stool and went out the fucking window? Then what about the sword? It would have been left in the shower room and she wouldn't have been able to recover it, dumbass! Who you hate though? Why do you even care? Why do you even care? Shut up! Just shut the fuck up and answer me! If you have an answer, then fucking give it to me! If she used the bamboo sword as a step stool, it would have been left behind. Why, why are you? Got a proof, you bastard? That's obviously impossible. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Don't fuck with me. Got proof, you bastard? Shut up! Shut up! Don't fuck with me! Got proof, you bastard? That's obviously impossible! Bastard! Her, the tie on her sword. Got proof, you bastard? I'll sell your fucking organs! You're pissing me off! You're pissing me off! Bastard! If she used the bamboo sword as a step stool, it would have been left behind. What? Shut uh, what? Shut up! What was I supposed up. to do? Got proof, you bastard! If you forgot the controls. You can always hit escape. That's obviously imp Final strike, left mouse button. I did. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! If she used the bamboo sword as a step stool, it would have been left behind. I'm pressing the left. I'm pressing it. Don't fuck with Why me. Why isn't it doing it? Is there something Stop else we missed? You bastard! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Don't fuck with me. If she used the bamboo Press sword as yeah. a step Bang. stool, yeah. it would have been left behind. Oh! Bam oh! Oh! I put the words together. That's obviously impossible. 
bastard! Yeah, bamboo sword bag. Got proof, you bastard! If she used the Bam bamboo sword bamboo as a step stool, sword bag. it would have been left. This is there me. we go. This is Thank you. End. I didn't know I had to put it together. Thank you, guys. Yeah. If she used her bamboo sword as a step stool, sword as a step she stool. could have recovered it she with, her recovered with her sword bag. When she leaned her sword against the wall to use as a step stool, she tied her sword back to it. Yep. And after she climbed up to the window, as long as she hauled the bag up toward her, she would have been able to recover her bamboo sword. <gasps> I see. Not just the bamboo sword, but even the sword bag, too. She used them both to escape. Hakane said she's like a ninja, but it's nothing as silly as that. Simply put, only Pekko could have performed this feat. An escape plan befitting of the ultimate swordswoman. Even so, how disappointing. If you'd only let me work with you, it would have been an even greater plan. No, oh, you just back just off! Back off. Uh, um, is it true? You're just making assumptions! You, you don't have any proof! I won't accept this unless there's proof! Got it, you bastard! It's fine. Huh? I said it's fine. Saying anything more would just be an exercise in futility. She admitted it just now, right? She admitted she's Mahu's killer, right? But is this right? Even though Fuyuhiko is the one arguing with us, Pekko just admitted it so among freely. Among flowers, the cherry blossom. Among men, the samurai. I commend your decisiveness, at least. Very well. If you admit it, this ends now. Let's cast our votes. Agree. Hurry up and vote. Something doesn't seem right, though. Something doesn't sit right with me. Oh, no. Hold on. Hold on. Let me confirm one, Let me thing, confirm first. one thing first. Can it wait until after the voting? This uh, is important, no. and it relates to the voting. It's about Pekko's motive. My motive? Why the would end, she kill you anyone? had no connection to the events depicted in Twilight Syndrome murder case, right? Then, why did you kill Mahiru? Why did you kill Mahiru? Hmm. So it's about that. Let's see. If I must answer that question, I must say... It was for the sake of justice. Huh? Justice? Justice? In order to protect the justice of this world. What? What? I do not sully my hands to satisfy personal grudges. There is only one reason I kill. For the sake of protecting justice. You... What are you saying? Justice is what makes humans human. It's a virtue that human beings should be proud of. Justice is the eternal sun and the enduring moon, the protective father and the smiling mother. That was very poetic. Earth to Pickle! If justice ever disappeared from this world, the world would immediately freeze and people's smiles would vanish. I will not allow that. It, it's fine, just stop it. Justice must always be there to guide us, to shine bright above our heads. <laughs> I'm telling you to stop it. So I must fight. I must continue to fight to protect justice. She's a, she's a serial killer that that uh, Sony was talking about, because that'd be hilarious. This is... Could she be? As the light of justice shines upon my mind. Oh my god, no! The hearts of malevolent evil. Oh my god. Justice complete! Excuse me? Excuse me? I feel like we got a we got a second version of Toko here. It's, yeah, right? 
the center of justice that is pierced by justice. The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky. That would be me. Sparkling justice! Now then, let's execute justice! What? What? What, what the fuck? <laughs> Thank you, Soda. What are you doing? I am sparkling justice. In the name of sparkling, shining justice, I have come to deliver justice. I. Uh, what? What's going on? Okay. What's this? Chill. A uh, Pecco finally snapped. Everyone, please be careful. This game is hot. Sparkling Justice is a serial killer who claims to be an ally of justice. Clad in her various hero masks, she is a serial killer who exclusively targets other criminals. She is supposed to be, but, huh? What? An ally of justice? So that's why you're wearing a mask. This mask is the dividing line. Sonya had to, was going to say something. Just like various idols, the sun is revered because it lies just beyond your grasp. Justice should also be the same. Uh, I don't get it, I but don't get it. But this is becoming really crazy. Really crazy. What? The heck is this? Pick was the killer. Why is it turning out like this? This is turning out to be a surprising turn of events. My head hurts. Hey. Yeah. Hey, now's not the time for you to be sleeping. Take a look. It's a killer. Hey. This again? Huh? Sleep talking? Sleep talking? So I what's your it. answer to my previous question? Why did you kill my brain is shut down for the evening? This world must always be bathed in the light of justice. I must not allow even one shadow. Evil must be eliminated immediately. This, I just realized it. Huh. You wanna hear my thoughts on what she's doing? Huh. She's she's doing this to cast justice on everyone. She's taking us down with her. She can't be the killer. Maybe, but I mean, if all of these people were involved, if all these people were involved in that, uh, in that case, in the first murder? No, in the Twilight Syndrome murder case. That's what I meant. In the first murder. Yeah. Do you think she killed? She's the one who killed the uh, girl E. She might have. No matter what, I must not overlook evil. Evil? I could be crazy. Are you saying Mahiru is... Well, she was an accomplice to girl E. Mahiru was. Mm -hmm. She got rid of the picture. If so... you knew about that incident, then you must have played the game. Am I right? And because of that, I was able to find the killer's accomplice hiding on this island like a sewer rat. Yep. Then, the reason you killed Mahiru was... Yeah. I no, he called. He thought Sonya was the killer from right from the start, though. Yeah, I only said it because someone said something. I mean, I could Steven just be was thinking. I could just be thinking too hard. To protect justice, of course. In order to protect justice, I have become its merciless sword, and executed justice. <laughs> Holy crap! She's such a stereotypical psychopath. No, that'd oh be Toko. Oh my god. Yeah, be She's so gross! She's so gross. Pekko. Is, is, is this your true, true identity? Is this your true identity? Your true identity? <laughs> I have already forgotten who I am. It just shows my determination. My determination to protect by throwing away what's most important. 
I'm willing to become anybody to shower this world with justice. We are not going to die from your drinking game, Steven. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> I'm just... I'm confused. Uh, I can't stand this anymore. This anymore. Let's just end this farce end this already. Farce already. Wait. He's right. This, we need to end this already. The killer in the end, there's no mistake that it was Pekko all Let's along. go over this incident one more time and then one more time. let's end this. Let's end this. Uh, yeah, I could be. I could have been just thinking about it. Alright, let's see. I was just thinking about it too hard. Time to put the clothing on. You're right. On the morning they met. I think that might be it. No. I'm streaming. Oh. I didn't know if you were streaming still. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I knew it was Baker from this. I knew it was Baker once someone said something. Uh, the next one. There we go. Okay, so it was the when they met. Okay. That's when she noticed that she likes to eat gummies. There. I was just I was just thinking too hard hard again. Faco is the killer. Well, I already figured it out, Steven, before you said something. That one. And then the footprints. Here's everything that happened in this case. Here's everything that happened in this case. The incident began this morning when Mahiru spoke to Hyoko. Mahiru most likely played Twilight Syndrome murder case. The video game provided to us as the motive. She probably wanted to discuss it with someone else who also appeared in the game as a character. Hyoko accepted Mahiru's invitation and they promised to have a more detailed conversation about it later. However, someone else overheard their exchange. The killer. The killer eavesdropped on their conversation and used their promise to devise a specific murder plan. By preparing a specific item, they plan to manipulate the two's actions. That item was the letters. They sent fake letters to both Mahiru and Hyoko. The letter Mahiru received told her to come to the beach house at 2.30 p.m. 
and the letter Hyoko received told her to come to the beach house at exactly 2 p.m. By providing different times, the killer was able to lure them to the beach house separately. Hyoko totally trusted that letter, showed up at the beach house at 2 p.m., just like it said, and was drugged into unconsciousness by the killer lying in wait. After putting Hyoko to sleep, the killer immediately hid her inside the closet, so they could frame her as the killer later. At 2.30 p.m., Mahiru arrived at the beach house. She was completely unaware that she had been targeted for murder. Approaching her from behind, the killer struck the defenseless Mahiru with a specific weapon, the metal bat that was left at the scene of the crime. The bat was brought down onto the back of Mahiru's head, and with that, she took her last breath. According to Mikan's autopsy, Mahiru died instantly, so she probably never knew who killed her. With that, the killer achieved their goal of killing Mahiru and began to tamper with the crime scene. They dragged Mahiru's body so that it blocked the door leading to the road. Also, the mask found at the scene of the crime was something the killer personally left. I'm not really sure why. My guess is, it's something similar to a calling card. That That's how the crime scene we discovered was created. However, by moving Mahiru's body, the killer got blood splatter on them. Plus, the shower room had no water because it was out of order, so they couldn't wash it off. But the killer expected something like that to happen. Instead of the shower, the killer used something else to wash the blood off their body. They used plastic water bottles that were inside the beach house refrigerator. We can assume they carried the bottles to the shower room before the sequence of events had happened. That makes In sense. In place of showering, they washed the blood off their body with water bottles instead. However, they had no choice but to dispose of the empty bottles in the beach house's trash can. Littering is against the rules, and it would have taken too much time to throw them away somewhere else. Right, that makes sense. Right. After the killer washed off the blood, they hid in a specific spot inside the closet Hyoko was in. The killer hid inside the surfboard case that they had already emptied beforehand. After some time had passed, the sleeping drug used on Hyoko wore off and she woke up. I can imagine how badly Hyoko must have panicked when she came out of the closet. I mean, she made plans to see Mahiru, who lay dead right in front of her. From the shock and panic of being considered a murder suspect, Hyoko fled from the beach house. Because of that, she left footprints in the sand. Everything was a trap set by the killer to frame her. After Hyoko left, the killer finally came out of the surfboard case and placed a gummy that they brought with them to shift our suspicion toward Hyoko. Ironically, placing that gummy is what helped clear our suspicion toward Hyoko. Yeah, it's pretty ironic. Finally, the killer began preparing to escape from the beach house. They couldn't risk leaving their footprints in the sand, so they escaped the beach house using a different route. The small window in the shower room. However, that window is rather high up and can't be reached easily, which is why the killer used the bamboo sword they always carry with them. What doesn't line up The cute? killer took the bamboo sword out of its bag, tied the bag to the sword's handle, and used the sword as a step stool to reach the small window while holding the sword bag in their hand. As long as they're able to reach the window, all they had to do was pull the bag to retrieve the sword. And so the killer left the beach house and appeared before us as if nothing had happened. But their wet hair and swimsuit didn't dry right away. There also weren't any towels at the beach house. So when the killer met up with us, they said they had been swimming for a while as an excuse. No, she's a serial killer, Q. Yeah, and she and kills just... So how about it? This is the truth behind the incident you caused. Isn't that right, Heckle Peckle Yama? Yeah, I will. My. I see. My thoughts were just it? too much. 
Or She's how like, was thinking. Totally cool with it. I haven't done anything to be ashamed of. What are you saying? You killed Mahiru! Huh. Wrong! I punished evil in the name of justice! That's no reason to condemn me. Whatever! Let's hurry up and vote so we can freaking kill this weird crazy bitch! There's no way you can kill me. Justice can never be killed. You should all know that as well. What are you saying? To protect what's most important to you, you must be prepared to throw away something equally important. Understand? I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Then I shall be direct. Justice must carry on in order to keep justice. To keep me alive, you all must give up your lives. Uh, are you serious? Are you serious? It's not serious. It's justice! If I fall here, who will combat the evils of this world? Now, follow your hearts of justice that reside within you all, and save my life to protect justice! Hurry Is she serious? and carry on justice! So she's telling them not to vote for her is what she's Give saying. Give me a break! Yeah. Who's gonna die for you? If we let Pecco go, we're all gonna get killed! For the sake of grand justice, a few sacrifices are unavoidable. Oh no, she'll get something- Do you, do you know about Dragon Rope Q? Because something way better is gonna happen than straight jacket. Don't worry. The justice that you give your life to protect will never go to waste. I can't stand her anymore! Her anymore. Let's vote already and execute her! Um, however, before we do that... Monokuma, the vote! Hurry up and let us vote already! I'm awake! Ah, he finally woke up! I've heard your story! Well, I wasn't listening, but who cares? Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote! Who will be chosen as the Blacken? <laughs> like, no, Steven, we're voting the who the killer is. And... As much as I really didn't want to... Can't believe she did it. Yeah, you, you were thinking way too hard on Sonya. Pardon me? Can we please have what? a little more time? What? Sonia? Um, pardon me. Can we have a little bit more time? Please what? let us continue our discussion. Continue our discussion? But isn't the voting over? Yes, but I cannot help but feel strange. Something about this is definitely strange. Huh? Strange? What do you mean? There's no doubt that Pecco is the killer. Killer. That is true. However, as a serial killer enthusiast, you're wondering if Pecco is really sparkling justice. Am I right? Huh? Hey, Miss Sonia isn't a serial killer enthusiast. She just has a little more passion about them than most. That makes her an enthusiast. An enthusiast. Honestly, it felt strange to me too. I mean. There's a distinct difference between what we know about Sparkling Justice and Pekko, right? A uh, distinct difference? You know, Sonya described Sparkling Justice like this. Are we really justice doing this? complete! The center of justice that is pierced by justice! The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky! That would be me, Sparkling Justice! Nationality. I see. I see. That's right. That's right. According to what Sonia said. Hi, Potato Kit Kat. 
The article was written in their native language, so I tried to translate it. If she had a translator, she had translated. That means it wasn't that written, means in, English, it wasn't written right? in English, right? Or in this case, Japanese. Huh? Yes, the magazine I read was written in Spanish. It was in Spanish? So, Sparkling Justice's catchphrase was no doubt written in Spanish as well. Which means the journalist and Sparkling Justice are both from Spain? What? The st what? Well, that means... At this time, I completely misunderstood. When I first heard about those serial killers, Genocide Jack and Sparkling Justice, I just assumed both serial killers were from the same country. But that, that wasn't the case. If so... Pecco, you're not Sparkling Justice. Sparkling. There's no way that's There's possible. There's no way that's, that's possible. Or, if you insist that you're Sparkling Justice, can you try saying that catchphrase in Spanish? Would you be able to do that? Would you be able to do that? Hmm. It appears that the time has come for this mask to come off. However, that's perfectly fine. It's no longer necessary. And even if you find out now, it's too late for you all to do anything about it. My duty has already been finished. What do you My mean? My duty as a tool has already been completed in full. A tool? Uh-huh. Huh? Looks like she's back to normal? That mask has fulfilled its purpose, just as I have. What do you mean? Fulfilled its purpose? Too late? What are you getting at? What are you getting now at? Now that you've already cast your votes, is what it means. Hey! Be clearer! We're asking you what your purpose was! I have no purpose. I am just a mere tool. Uh, T sis? Tool? tool? What do you what mean? Do you, what do you mean? She called what? herself a tool. Which means someone else used her then? So, or maybe she's a bodyguard for Kazuryu's. A tool cannot do anything on its own. <gasps> that would make sense. I see. I finally understand. Oh. Well, I did have a sneaking suspicion all along. What do you mean? I mean, besides I mean. Pekko and Hyoko, someone else was also at the beach house. S someone else? There is proof that establishes that fact. Try to remember it. The proof that there was one more person to see the crime. The body. I see. I see. Are you talking about the body discovery announcement? Yep, that's right. I mean, didn't Monokuma say so earlier? I do not have an Instagram or Snapchat. Sorry, potato. Hey, it doesn't include the killer in this case. That announcement is made when at least three people discover a body. And in this particular case, the killer, Pekko, is not one of those three. If that's the case, it would mean only Hyoko and Kazuichi discovered the body, but... I see. That leaves us one person short. So that means there was one more person in the beach house! Plus, the fact that Monokuma tried to hide that truth from us by being flexible with his own rules. That's such a vital clue that it could alter the outcome of the trial. Like an accomplice, for example. No, that's not it. Huh? Am I wrong? Yes. From your basic way of thinking about it, you are wrong. Didn't I tell you? I'm just a tool. That means I'm just a simple tool to be used by that person. Therefore, that person would have the strongest motive out of anybody else here, right? <sighs> or... You're the only one! You're, You're the, the only, only one. one! Is it Fuyuhiko? Fuyuhiko? I see. Now I finally see the connection. The connection between the motive and the incident. But even if it's the motive, it's just a game, right? There's no reason to believe it's even true. Would you call a game like that a strong motive? 
No, the events that occurred in the game should have definitely occurred in real life. There's overwhelming proof of that, too! The pictures. I can he had it. it with this! I didn't think it was necessary to confirm it. It didn't have anything to do with my hero's murder. With my hero's but murder. But there's no doubt that game is based, on, game actual is based on actual events. That much is clear, if you, much saw, is the clear if you saw the ending price. The photos awarded for beating the game are not actual in-game screenshots. They're all actual photos actual. with the surrounding scenery cropped out. You knew all along, Fuyuhiko. Didn't you? You knew whether or not the first victim in the game was actually your little sister. Right? Because whoever beat the game first received the ending prize. Damn, what's that envelope? It was the envelope, right? The person who received the ending prize. It was you, wasn't it? If you were shown a photograph of your sister's dead body, you'd have no choice but to believe it. Even so, you wanted to deny the truth. That's why you sent those photos to Mahiru to confirm it. Hey! Why are we talking about Fuyuhiko? Who cares? Cause... Paco is the killer, right? But... We already voted! That's why I told you. You're all too late. As I said before, I exist as nothing more than a tool. I had no motive killing. for killing Mahiru. No reason to kill. Not even the will to kill. I was simply used as a tool. As long as I am a tool, I cannot defy my orders. Uh, hey! What's going on? Can anyone give me a simpler explanation? I'm so confused. Mm. I know. I'm not the killer. The true killer who used me as their weapon to kill Mahiru Koizumi was Fuyuhiko <sighs> Kuzuryu. What? You did. I... What the hell? I see. That's what you were aiming for all along. No. I have no aim. But my young master does. My young master planned this from the start. Didn't I oh, say master. she was a bodyguard? Yeah. That is the truth of this case. I'm sure you realize it by now, but it's too late. You cannot undo the vote. That's a problem. That's a problem. If Peko's allegation holds up, that means our vote was incorrect. In that case, the person who gets to live is... Just... me? That's nuts! No matter how you look at it, that's completely insane! How would Peko be a tool in the first place? Peko is a legitimate human being! That's not for you to decide. It's My who was the red-haired one with the uh, camera potato? The votes have been cast. All we can do now is wait and see what Monokuma decides. What the hell? This is... Just like I'm case, so, this is just like a case for for justice for all. Remember? Yeah. Yep. We had we had to figure out who hired Shelly D. Killer back then. Son of. Hmm, a... I'm in a bind, and what a bind it is! I guess for now, let's take a quick recess. We'll be right what? back after this commercial break. Damn you, Monokuma! Sorry. Hey! Hey, hey! Well... You just don't know. Hey. It would, yeah. Yeah. What? Oh. Um. No. Um. 
nothing but a tool. What? My young master is attacked. I must defend him as his shield. If he intends to kill, I must be his sword. That is my only reason for living. Before I am human, I am my young master's tool, first and foremost. Until this body of mine can no longer move, I shall fulfill my duty until the very end. That is... I'm not a tool, Peko. Because if you're a tool, then we... it was all that time we spent together. Nothing. Huh? Huh? <laughs> I was ordered by my young master to behave, just as I was ordered to interact with you all. What? What? Our professional relationship doesn't exist on this island. We're just fellow high school students now. Right after we arrived on this island, that is what my young master ordered me to do. You fiend. No. That's not as if I started the moment we arrived on this island. Before they, I mean, my young master has always told me to hide our relationship. My young master loathes relying on his household's power. He even hates me, the tool given to him by his household. I am nothing but a tool. No matter what I am told, I am nothing but a tool for killing. If my young master intends to kill, it is only natural for me to act as his tool. And the one who tried to kill my hero wasn't you, but was for you, Hiko. Damn it. It is what it is. When I thought I beat that game, I was suddenly given these photos. Damn it! I don't understand. Why is my sister in these photos? Don't fuck with me! And she's she's covered in blood. What does it mean? Why can't I remember? How come I don't even no, if my sister is dead! You... You tried to confirm it with my hero, and that's why you wanted to talk to her. So... Yeah. I sent her the photo because I wanted to make sure she'd respond. But she never replied back to me. Not only that, she started avoiding me too. But... I, I'm pretty sure my hero was confused too. I mean, we were all were. Before anyone played the game, we didn't even know the incident had happened. That's why even if we were told that we're connected to it, there's no way we could accept um, it. Um, you know, when Mahiro spoke to Ibuku, she mentioned something about this. What? Oh. Actually, I have plans to go to the oh beach. Oh my my! I'm not gonna go, Mahiro. If you want to talk about it, we're told to be fine. It's pretty important, so you know it'd be troubling to evolve huh? the others. You sound pretty um, serious. I can't really do anything about it on my own, as I wanted someone to think but... about it with me. If I need to make amends, I would, but I don't even know how. Are you serious? I can cancel my <laughs> mm. Everyone gets along anyway. Just tell them I'm not feeling well. Plus, it doesn't have to be today. There's always tomorrow. Oh. She wanted to discuss how to make amends, but Hyoko was the one who accepted her invitation. <laughs> but... It's rather convenient for you, wasn't it, for Hiko? If you could make use of their plan to meet up, each other alone, you could easily lure my hero hey. into a trap, right? By calling both of them to the beach house, you were able to pin the with Yoko. An eye for an eye. That's the world I live in. My little sister was, was... murdered. If the re reason that happened was because of some person here. Damn it! I have no choice but to kill that person on my sister's behalf, right? And so... My young master thought of a plan and executed it. I wanted to use a bat as the murder weapon because in the game, that's what it was used to kill girl E. Revenge. Clubbing the person to death the same way my sister was killed just seemed to make sense. Even if it ruined my disguise, it was the only thing I could do to avenge my sister. That is... So that's why you killed my hero with the bat? Yeah. But still, I believed her up to the very last minute. That game was just a work of fiction. But even so, that bitch! Hey! That game is actually real. Are you the one who killed girl E? Why, you? Hey, I don't want to hear about that. But... The fact that your sister has killed is terrible. It's unfortunate. Why? 
You shouldn't have killed that girl. Shut the hell up! Who cares about that? Just answer me. What do you know about that game? What are you saying? You had no right to do that. Nobody has the right to judge others for their crimes. Revenge is just wrong. Jeez. Want me to be honest? This whole time, I was acting like a coward. Even after I called over my hero, I was still trying to find an excuse to not go through with the plan. <sighs> but after she said that to me, that all went out the window. I got really pissed off and grabbed the metal bat that I hid under the bench. But at that moment... <laughs> Young Master called for me and made me kill Mahiru. Huh? Huh? Young Master, I am finished. What? You're s Are you saying that you killed because you were ordered to? <laughs> a tool is not defined by its will, but it's by its actions. <laughs> I don't get this at all! Of course! Of course you don't understand, because humans are completely different from one another. Everyone's birthplace and upbringing is different. It's obviously impossible for them to understand each other. <sighs> so everyone just pretends to understand and pretends quiet. to be understood. You're too annoying. Can you just be a quiet? Yes, indeed! Okie dokie, I'll be quiet. Afterward, just as my young master planned, I proceeded to tamper with the scene of the crime. However, I also considered the possibility of being found out. <laughs> so in order to get you guys to make the wrong choice, I decided to make use of that serial killer story. It cannot be! You insisted that you were sparkling justice in order to make us hate you haste in our boats! So, we fell for it. We fell for her trick all along. That's right. You guys have made the wrong decision. You voted me, a mere tool, as the killer. I'm aware that my young master was That's the true killer. That's obviously wrong! Uh, hold on. Don't act like our loss has been decided yet. No. It should be decided already. Isn't that right, Minakuma? This Manakuma? is troubling! Ow. Sorry. I'll admit that this, all this talk about Bickle being a tool sounds pretty persuasive. When you approach it from various angles, it makes sense that Fuyuhiko is actually the true killer. <sighs> Hold on! I, I don't see. need to hold on! I see. So for Pekko Fuyuhiko himself is true hope, then. On his behalf, you killed my hero, and now you're trying to sacrifice us so you can protect him. He would only go that far because he's your one and only Wrong. hope. I have no hope. I am just <laughs> a tool. Well, even if we ask her, she'll probably just play dumb anyway. Now then. So I'm going to ask someone else. Hey, Fuyuhiko, what do you think? Huh? Uh, about what? Hey. Is Pekko just a tool to you? Using that tool, surviving by sacrificing Pekko, and the rest of us. <laughs> Is that your hope? What? <laughs> Hold on. What's the use of asking something like that? What? You seem distressed. A mere tool doesn't panic like that, right? Jeez. Pekko, be honest. Are you trying to protect Fuyuko of your own free will? Can you tell me the truth? The fact that she killed on your behalf, the fact that she lied to us by acting like the killer, are those all things you ordered her to do? Is that the truth? Huh? I... Um... Fuyuhiko? Yeah. I know I hate your guts, but... Huh? Within the Peko, we're all gonna die! Yeah. I... I... Young master, you just have to tell the truth. I was only following your orders. You just have to tell them that. I. 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 Fuyuhiko, you mentioned this before, but. In this kind of situation, interacting with others will just shorten your lifespan. Those idiots, Biakuya and Terra Terra, are proof of that. Plus, it'd be frustrating to be held back by affection when it's my time to kill. You... You're still saying that? Of course. I'll sacrifice the lives of everyone here if it guarantees my survival. You don't really feel that way, right? You're not that kind of person. Because if you were, you wouldn't be hesitating like you are now, right? <laughs> There's no need to hesitate, young master. Please, just tell them the truth. 
Young master, you were the one who ordered me. I just did as I was told because I am a tool. <sighs> this could be considered your ultimate choice. Regardless, either way, you still lose Pekka, hey. but... If you insist you're the killer, just as she said, you can sacrifice us and survive alone. <laughs> or would you rather reject Pekko and fight alongside us against despair? Which one will be your hope? Let's hear what you have to say. Right. I... I... Young master, I am finished. You... You... What the hell did you do? You already know, right? Right. What's going to happen? Going to happen? After you kill someone? You kill someone? I did it because I know. There is no way I can let that happen to you. Hey, Pekka. Do you remember what I told you when we first arrived on this island? Our professional relationship doesn't exist on this island. We're just fellow high school students now. You need to run. Got it? Just let me take the fall so you can get away. Young master, that is impossible. Shut up! I'm ordering you not to worry about me! There is no way I cannot worry about you. I am... my young master's tool. A tool to protect my young master. Without an owner, a tool serves no purpose. God damn it! we are done with that crap! Why won't you listen to what I'm saying?! Regardless, I will not flee. Besides... I'm fairly certain they'll discover the truth soon enough. <laughs> then... why did you...? I have a plan. Huh? A plan? Please do not worry. I promise I will keep my young master alive and return him safely home. You idiot. What do you intend to do? I intend to fulfill my duty as your tool. Now please, go! Hyoko will be waking up soon. After you leave, I must block the door to the road with Mahiru's body. Hurry! Damn it. You better run away. Got it? Just forget about me! Forget about the Kuzuryu clan! You better escape! So how about if we go? Please tell me the truth. Sorry. Sorry, Pico. I guess I couldn't go through with it after all. Young master! I'm a disgrace. Cause if that's actually what I have to do to survive, I just feel ashamed of myself. It mean I can't live without depending on something. I just feel disgusted with myself. Echo. And if I admit that, it means you really are just a tool to me. How many times did I tell you? I don't want a tool given to me by the Kazuryu clan. Young master! Ah. Oh! Too bad! You knew all along, didn't you? You knew about what Pico and Fuyu could discuss. Well, it's obvious now, I mean, that's why you have surveillance cameras. You were just having fun, huh? <laughs> Even if it was an act of desperation, Pico's claim was surprisingly interesting. <laughs> you're actually the first to try to influence the outcome of the trial like that. <laughs> but too bad, you're definitely the killer. Pico the tool with the heart is the killer! Sorry, Pico. I'm sorry I couldn't fulfill your request. Even though you did all that to provide me the chance to survive. But I... <sighs> I had a feeling it would turn out like this. Huh? Huh? Young master! You have a kind heart despite being a Yakuza. That's why you question your position and constantly worry about it. For you to sacrifice someone else just to escape by yourself. I believed you wouldn't accept that so easily. <laughs> We've been together ever since we were children. Even a tool would understand that. What? Then... why? Even so... I wanted, I you, wanted to you to escape. 
I want it to protect you. Echo. Echo. I am terribly sorry. I will not be able to surf by your side until the very end, young master. Bye. And I'm sorry for what I've done to you all, too. It may be a selfish request, but please forgive my young master. And please do not cause a senseless killing such as this ever again. Of course. <laughs> that will do, Monokuma. Why don't you start it already? I will never feel despair. Just so you know, I will never feel despair as long as I am a tool. I am fully prepared to die. So cool! Will you be able to maintain that composure until the very end? People who act as proud as you always shed tears of despair in the yeah. end. <laughs> now then, let's begin! Young master for you, Hiko. Please permit me to make one final selfish request. So, didn't I tell you not to call me young master? I want you to remember. The tool Peko Peko Yama, who used to stand beside you. I would like it if you remembered that. <laughs> That's it. How many times do I have to keep... I don't need any tools. <sighs> you did say that. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. Why don't you get it yet? Thrills! Chills! Kills! Why you stay by my side all this time? Why don't you get it? Now then, I prepared a very special punishment. I, I never needed a no. or shield. I never needed a tool. So you didn't need to become a tool. Give it everything we've got! You just... You just needed to be yourself. I... I never wanted a tool. I just wanted you. Only you. Young master? Why? Why couldn't you understand? We've always been together ever since we were kids! Let's go! It's punishment time! No, Monokuma! Please, Peko. Don't go! I need you! Don't leave me! Young Master? Young Master? Peiko has been found guilty. Time for the punishment. Go. 
master. What is this? This can't be. This is a lie, right? No! Where did he go? Such a waste. Damn it. Oh. You're still talking about me. What the hell's wrong with you? Aren't you pissed that two of your friends got killed? Such despair. Isn't that right? Fuck you, dude. I'm not gonna Listen carefully. Okay? Do okay? something! Hey! You need to save him! Hey! I'm trying! But his blood, he won't stop bleeding out! His pulse is getting weaker! Can't you... Can't you do anything about it? God damn it! Hmm... You're so stupid! Stupid brother! I don't believe it! <laughs> what the heck? That's wrong! It's your duty huh? to save him. Duty. Hey, hey! Because it's written in the school trip rules. They alone! If only the blacking gets executed, then Fuyuhiko shouldn't be allowed to be executed. <laughs> Something about it right now, but since my magic stick was taken away, I'm practically powerless. Hey, hey! But you, you shouldn't be you, you should be able to do it. Unbelievable. Oh, mother me! Mother me! Fine. There's no way I can violate a rule, even if it's me. So Fine then, I'll save him. Really? Like... I was actually gonna do it all along. Prepared! And that's when it happened. A siren began ringing from out of nowhere, and gradually grew closer and closer. Oh, uh, an ambulance? Just leave the rest to me, Doctor Kilgood. Doctor Kilgood. Uh, God dang it! He killed your patient. He killed your patient. We gotta get this patient to the Monokuma Hospital ER and get him under 24-hour observation stat. I can't shoot the bear. That's the problem, Q. Oh, I'll see you later. Yeah, you really can't. Otherwise, he'll just kill you instead. Oh, is it really gonna be okay to leave this to Monokuma? Can't be helped. It's not like there was any other way. Perhaps he's gonna be fine. He's probably gonna be better and come back to us again. <laughs> You're right. He's definitely gonna come back and talk low snack as if nothing happened. Then all we can do is wait. Or do we have to wait for him? I mean, he kills my heroes, does However... He? However, he must be put aside, since Peko has already been punished. Or else we will not be able to advance forward. Fall, my tears. There are no second chances in life. We cannot return to what has already transpired. There is no other way than to move. Like an arrow of light piercing through the darkness. <laughs> How's that? D damn it! Yes, things aren't as exciting as if sh shit stir like you made around. I didn't realize it, but I was wishing for that too. From the bottom of my heart, I really wanted him to return. Fuyuhiko! I don't want anyone else to be a sacrifice. 
And so the case of the last trial ended. But we still can't see the real ending, what we really want yet. When that finally arrives, what will have happened to us by then? No matter where I look, no matter what possibilities I look for, I can't see our future, not even a speck. As if we were in a boat floating unreliably in a vast dark sea. We were just left there, alone. Only one word could explain our situation. Despair. Despair. We couldn't find a more suitable word than that. What? Only 15 days 15 left. 15 days left. 10 hours, 10 minutes. You guys can see it, right? You can see this countdown too? Yeah. Poor people yeah. are already gone. We took our time preparing the hope fragments, but now we're no longer able to gather them. Honestly, I'm not so sure anymore. Whether it's better if we let them leave this island, or if we shouldn't let them escape. For those kids, which option is hope and which is despair? But I guess there's no time to hesitate. If this countdown reaches zero, that guy will probably take over our plan's final stage as well. What? What lies That's beyond what? that is the foul resurrection of the ultimate despair. What? And the continuation of the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Th that cannot be allowed. We must prevent that by any means necessary. Even if we have to pay the ultimate price, I will definitely prevent it by any means. Everything is for the sake of a future filled with hope. What the hell is she talking about? No idea. See him punishment. Sit in coconuts. And... Only 12 students remain. To be... <sighs> The Black Dragon Blade. Oh, God, that... Oh, my God, that... That killed... Okay, we, we have to stop it here. We have to stop it here. I know. Oh, my heart. Oh, my fucking heart. Oh, let go. Dang it! And I was actually gonna, and I was actually gonna romance her second on my playthrough. <sighs> After Chiaki. Son of a bitch! <sighs> Is it wrong for me to say I can't? I actually, I absolutely can't hate her at all. No. Oh, damn it! She was just trying to protect for you, Hiko. Bye, Stevie. Jesus. Like, seriously, that. Seriously, no joke. Because I don't even think Fuhiko was actually going to kill her. Like. Like, he wanted. I think he wanted to. But I don't think he was actually going to kill her. And then Peiko came in. Just. She just came in and. Whacked. Yeah, I'm going to be playing. Go I was right that Fuhiko was the other. Uh. Accomplice, but accomplice. But until someone said that someone was directing our suspicion towards uh, Hyoko, I was never suspecting Peiko. No. Like, but when someone said that, I'm like, Son of a bitch. No, it doesn't matter. If we Hiko never wanted to be really part of the. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Also, also, sis. Uh huh. Now I feel terrible about suspecting Sonya. How dare you? I told you. You could. Well, even you said said that there were some things that weren't. Some. Some, but not a lot. Yeah. I knew you were overthinking it. 
Yeah. I, like, I didn't really believe it myself either. It was just the wetsuit and how long she took. Just, it didn't give her a good enough alibi for me. Mm, yeah, apparently it was a good enough alibi. Yeah, no one even... Because that is what happened. Uh, I never suspected Peiko. I'm sad. I'm going to tell Joe that I'm sad. Oh. But anyway, I'm going to start my stream here uh, in a little bit. Uh, all right. Uh, because... Uh, because uh, but because Joker's not going to be out for a while, I'm going to just start up God of War instead. Okay. So it's going to take me a little time to change my title and thumbnail, but yeah. So are you going to... So should we uh, do our outro? No, Peko is ordered to protect Fuyuhiko. There is no doubt that Q. And she followed. And she followed that. Like seriously, she was. In terms of loyalty, she'd give Rainbow Dash a run for her money. That's not the point. Though. Sorry. <sighs> All right. I know. So. We end it here? Yep. We're going to end it here, folks. Uh, thank you for joining us for Trial 2 of Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. Uh, hopefully we will continue on to Chapter 3 sooner, uh, soon enough. Yeah. So... I mean, you're out of school now, so you... I am. You can start streaming again. All right. But either way, um, until next time, I'm Yumi-chan. And I'm Omega Snake. And we'll see you guys next time, already. Yep. And, Bye. -bye. And if you want to see more, more of me, I'm streaming here in a little bit. All right. Have a wonderful day. Good night, everybody.